Wait, the music is loud. It's coming louder and louder. Oh, it's because they're starting. Okay, let's do this. Okay, SWC. Do we increase volume or is it okay? Wait, Tyler? The year is 2021, and we are taking our first step to crowning the newest Ooh. entry, the newest Ooh. champion of the SWC, the Summoner's War the World screen, Championship. And it starts with the America's Cup preliminaries. Hi, everyone. I'm Daniel Degon Gonzalez, and I'm so happy to be back this year to host SWC 2021. We've got a Wait, bunch of competitors, a bunch of players, a bunch of summoners that think they can climb the mountain and etch their name into the echelons of history. But I can't do it alone. I'll be covering all the action with my fellow casters. It's stoic and once in love. Everyone in the chat, make sure you guys are getting hyped for our two casters. Stoic, how you doing, brother? Stoic! Doing good, man. It is amazing to be back with another SWC, especially alongside this fellow here. Yeah, once in love. Welcome. It's your first time on the SWC stage as a caster. How do you feel, man? I feel amazing. I'm just absolutely honored to be here, and I really look forward to seeing what we get from these competitors this year. Yeah, brother. Well, I cannot wait to deep dive into your breakdowns of all the action. It's going to be a ton, a ton of fun. And I'm super excited because, again, we're not doing it alone. It is indeed a global championship that we have. And at SWC 2021, we're going to have multiple friends across multiple different countries because it is a global event indeed. And so we have ourselves our casters in other languages. We have Kachu and former participant in SWC, Zerpolita covering the Spanish broadcast okay. here. Uh, and we also have Managua and Mr. Oh. Sloth hey. covering us as well in Portuguese. If we Managua. can get a chance to say hello to hey, them. And you guys can also cover the action and watch the action kick, kick, in kick, that kick, language. Kick, kick, kick. Because again, SWC, it's a world event. It's a global event. And y'all, again, will have a fantastic and fun time uh, throughout this whole journey. And we wanted to make sure that we reiterate we're all connected together. So, again, uh, y'all, you can make sure to check out those broadcasts or keep it here just with us here at SWC 2021. All right. I hope you all are super excited because I am very excited to find out what is next and going to be coming up here in SWC 2021. But before we get there, we have to see the overview on what will be breaking down in this year. I'm excited action. as we take I'm a look at lie. I'm pretty fucking how we excited. got here this year by looking at last year's broadcast. Let's take a look at how 2021 shaped up for us or 2020 shaped up for SWC. Mr. Chong. Oh! Troka! Wait, what happened to Troka, guys? Oh, Billy! Hey, Billy! All right, so you saw all the action there last year. Mr. Chung taking it home from the APAC region. And it was a lot of fun, a lot of uh, uh, different drafts coming out, and we expect more 
this year in this year's tournament. As we take a look at SWC 2021's overview on how things are going to shake out. And it starts with the America's Cup preliminary, which is what you're watching today. We have ourselves the preliminaries of day one and day two today and tomorrow, where four players will book their ticket to the America's Cup proper. If a player loses, it's a double elimination bracket. Don't worry, they'll still have their opportunity to bounce back okay. next double Saturday, six Saturday, six me, Saturday. Uh, July 31st. So double elimination. So for you at home, to keep it simple, you win two, you're into America's Cup. You lose one, your day ends that day, but you still get one more shot at redemption next Saturday. So okay. once we get all that in, we'll have eight competitors to play for the two spots to represent the Americas region, as we always do. So that'll be a lot of fun as we take a look at the prize so pool for the America's and a Cup. It's $10,000 for first place for those that are lucky enough to make it on in. Oh, Second place cool. gets $5,000, and third place gets $2,500. Uh, $2, and again, it's the opportunity to take the next step into the World Championship. And we've got ourselves one Man. hell of a group of players to do it's, that. It's, that it's will a lot be of money, but for the Summoner's Cup as we take a look at I would like to see the them increasing the prize pool. All of them will be participating I, for. I'm not going to lie. Uh, no, we're going to go with like the to players first. Let's take a look at that. Pool. So we've got our You guys don't even know how much fucking money comes to We're going to okay? rifle through them all here. That's like, that's you can like see a not couple even of them right there. Daniel them. Karioka and True Whale. That's, that's Fate not memory, even pocket money. Favorite couple of players. Wearing the jerseys from last year, Dream like, Joseph there, Thompson, J Mac, the know Cup what that winner is. from that's last like, year. We've got multiple Cup winners, all three Cup winners from the last three years. It's going to be that's like a hell of a tournament type of type in of money. this preliminary right. cup because we've got a stacked field. I would say, yeah, eight yeah. new members, eight returning members, three former oh, champions. <laughs> it's going to be one heck of a run. And again, we take a look at the trophy that everyone will be playing. Habibi <laughs> Firas. Uh, take a look My at uh, the World Championship trophy. Here it is. You love this set that we have here. The full brand new SWC 2021 set. There it is. The cup that everyone will be playing for. The grand prize. Mr. Chung took it home last year. And we'll see who else will be able to join him in it. Uh, all right. Maddie. That was uh, a lot of setup. Who's Maddie? To see who Glory. will be playing today. Let's take a look at it. Uh, the bracket of competitors. Here it is. All right. Day number okay. one. Their journey starts right now. True it's True Daniel. Whale against Daniel Carioca. Right. Then we have Shizzy Let's against Dustin. Zafarius against Big V. And then we close out the day one uh, opening matches with Faint Memory versus JS. Those are going to be some massive, massive games. And this is where I toss it to our experts over here. Uh, Stoic, uh, once in love. These, this is one of the most stacked fields we've seen in a while. So which matches from today's games stick out to you? I mean, we're kicking it off and we're gonna be really, really strong with this first one. It's True Will and Daniel Carioca. I mean, he goes by the name True Will and he stays true to that name. He has lots and lots of special toys we may see tonight. But we also have Daniel Karaoke with the weight of Brazil behind him. We wanna see Daniel Karaoke do his absolute to... best yes. for his country. But he's got a big whale. Daniel! Let's do this! Oh, oh geez. All right. Bad puns already, uh, Mr. Tyler. I hope you're ready. Once in love. Who, who, which match sticks out uh, for you? For me, it's got to be Fate Memory and JS. I, I Yo, usually up, attest DJ? to saying that Fate Memory is probably one of the most, if not the most, brilliant mind in Summer's War. I think him and Diligent are two of the top players. And, you know, JS is an old guildmate of mine, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the two of them go at it. Yeah, that'll be at the end of our qualifier matches. So we'll take a peek at that after we Do get I have the right to stream SWC? three. And, you know, yes. we've got ourselves I mean, one heck they of haven't a said first anything, one to and I've done it before, things so. off here. At the top, it's True Whale and Daniel Carioca. And this is what seems to be, I think, if you look from the outside looking in, a, a, a David and Goliath kind of matchup, True Whale just a true competitor in the space and really cranked it up when we take a look at his stats Was for lucky? the year so far. Uh, in the last couple of seasons, rank four back-to-back, -back, last season's legend oh. Yeah, no uh, problem, Lucky. If I get into trouble, then it's the, okay. Uh, monster pool, uh, so it, this has to be one of the favorites of the tournament. I mean, it, it's tough to, to argue against that. We have last season's legendary tournament winner, True Whale, here, and we know from to have great room quality. We know he has all of those special LD units out there. 
Uh, but he's got a great way he was drafting. He did really well in the Legendary Tournament. I'm expecting him to do very well here. That's right, we see the uh, Water Ryu oh. slash more coming up. That has been more and more popular. Uh, once in love, what are your thoughts here? No, Firaz is playing tomorrow. Hey, Daniel! Daniel has been a competitor in the Legend Tournament for many seasons in a row, actually. And consistently plays well and actually performs better in the best of three, best of five series. So I think SWC is a very good format for him oh. as well as a very good playing ground. Yeah, uh, when it comes to, again, the stats, it's been dominant. The highest rated player in both, you know, if you aggregate both 16 and 17 together in the Americas region, True Whale, uh, again, leading the way here. But he's up against uh, not a young upstart, not, not brand new, but uh, Daniel Carioca, who in his own right has started ranking up a little bit more as we cranked up towards SWC 2021. Okay. Uh, 117 in season 16, the 91 in season 17, Brazil. And once a while, I'm tossing to you first. Daniel Carioca is someone that uh, you know pretty well. Yeah, so actually a couple of years ago, Daniel Carioca approached me to actually learn how to start playing RTA. And so it's just, it's absolutely incredible to see him, you know, surpass like anywhere that I've gotten yeah. to and actually make Daniel it to the America's Cup. Well, just so woke up for that picture. Definitely excited to see this match. Yeah, the Sierra, the Gany, what stands out from his uh, toolbox, we could say here, Stoic? I'd have to say what stands out from the units that he's using is the spirit that he has behind those as well. Daniel Carioca <laughs> has an amazing character. If you've tuned into his streams, you know how great of a person he is, and he loves this game. He's in here for the tournament, but he's all... Hey, listen, listen. Takish, I thank you for watching watching my me play SWC. I like it, Taki. Thank you so much. I will play on Hong for you. I'm Daniel Carioca in his journey forward. True Whale and Daniel Carioca. One of these players will be taking the next step as they get closer to the America's Cup and more importantly, SWC 2021. Who is it? Let's find out. Stoic, once in love. We're kicking off SWC 2021 with the first match of the year in the America's Cup preliminaries. Guys, take it away. Well, here we go, guys. We're getting into our very first match with True Will and Daniel Carioca. I'm prepared for a really exciting kickstart to this year's 2021 America's Cup. Do we do our own casting or do we uh, listen to... Uh, t well, you know what? Let, well... We'll uh, let Stoic and uh, and um, and Tyler do the first one at least, so that we know what's it's going what it's going to be like. Yeah, Daniel here leading with the first pick, so the ban actually could be something, possibly maybe even like an early Joe Gun ban. We see a lot of that Sierra first pick for him, so we'll listen for the first one, then we'll decide. Has a lot of options. Knows Daniel's pool. Knows the LDs in there. He's got the Yin Hong. He's got the Hertit. And there it is. There's the Lulu right away, immediately gone, and Pontos taking away that really strong Gany Pontos combo. So, uh, what do you think he's going to take here first? You think it's going to be that Sierra? Uh, Dave definitely taking a speed lead here. I think it's going to be. What do you mean I will get banned if I use their sound, teacher? I won't get banned. If I get banned, then it's all right. Daniel Karaoke very quick to respond with an Okeanos and one other draft. I think we're probably going to see the Gany here. I think Oki Gany is still really strong in this combination. Um, could also just pick up the early Ragdoll. Um, gives him a very flexible draft. <laughs> Not too worried about what he wants to take early on, but you know, he's got that 30 seconds. Might as well play it out the whole time, right? Mm -hmm. There it is. He locks in the yeah, Oki Gany, the classic combination to start. A very classic combination. Very strong pair together, having those double resets there with the Oki and the Gany. Daniel Carioca locking in a unit that we are very familiar with, the Connell, and we're seeing a Chung Pung with it as well. The response here, True Whale needs that stripper, so takes the Joe Gun. Has options for other strippers here. She was looking pretty good. He's got the two wind on the other side and the speed lead opportunity. But will we see a hay gang possibly? Something to deny on either side. Both both could really take that. I think we could very well see the Hay Gang. Definitely curious what he's going to be wrapping up his draft here. And we're seeing Kinky coming out, the Light Onimusha. Interesting to see that Kinky drop that early. You know, usually we would see the Ragdoll there, but Kinky does fare pretty effectively in here. It's pretty good against the Carnal, unless you're on Despair, which you can control it. But Daniel wants to respond, well, thinking about a beta, possibly going for that immunity setup here. But needs to be careful. That last pick for True Whale is a very flexible opportunity and cannot give him any free reign for that. 
Well, Daniel Karaoke locking in a little bit of sustain with the beta, and we're seeing the Mo Long, a great combination with that Connell as well. True Will probably going to be taking his time here with this last pick. Yeah, not quite sure what this last pick could be, actually. There's a lot of opportunity for things like for the Diana. Next, uh, like, um, next, could even next go fight, for a secondary stripper here. That Mo Long pick is really good. I'm getting my, it has a lot um, of pressure um, with the ready. artifact changes, enabling just a stronger nuke. Oh, and there it is. There's the second stripper. He picks the Volantis, wants the counter on the first turn. And really, really plays for that strong second turn team. Volantis, a very exciting unit okay. we're going to see here, but bans are out. Beta is getting banned out. Joe Gunn is getting banned out on the side of True Will. Oh. All right. In the draft here, I'm still leaning depends. towards True Will's side. I think the but Volantis think combo has, with the Kiki um, and then the Gany mate is really strong into what Daniel Karaoke has. He needs a really strong first turn that doesn't get cut by this Volantis to have a strong effect. But what the fuck well, is that? Here book? we go, guys. We got oh, Daniel no. Karaoke taking first oh, turn no. here. Chung Pung looking oh, no, for the what is this? Trip, not receiving it. What are they doing? Seeing a spear what is of devastation this? <laughs> coming out on top of the Connell. These guys are very quick to play already. He missed, must have missed oh, the reset. No. We see the Seal of Magic coming out. <laughs> Bomb misses on Okeanos. Where's the accuracy Molion. today? This is a little bit tragic here. We need this Sierra into Molong combo to really snipe a unit on the first turn. Oh, but there it is. The extra turn with the additional damage on Sierra will be able to optionally take out that Ganymede on the first turn if he wants to. Is he going to go for the Reckless Assault onto the Ganymede? We're going to find out. And he does. He confirms <laughs> the kill on to that Ganymede. Molion! This is what you do with Comptos' money, our Very money. strong glancing coming out on the team of Daniel Karaoke. Definitely going to be keeping back a lot of his units Ooh, here. Daniel. Looks like another missed bomb going out on top of Okeanos. That's full of glancing, though. Denies a lot of that rotation. <laughs> Big stun here. It's good damage. Good damage out from that additional on the Okeanos skill three. Mark. I think... True Whale is actually holding a pretty good advantage here. Although the Ganymede is gone, the Kinky is really hard to deal with with the stun Sierra and honestly a low HP Molong. Wait, what is that skill? Interesting set of skills that I'm seeing here, but we've got a Molong <laughs> looking for a death break on top of this Volantis. Stoic! Does receive Be that death break. Onimushu getting a death break with the disparison on top of that Ciara. Okeanos trying to finish off that Ciara. Not enough damage here. We're going to see the, I believe, second skill from Volantis dropping the Ciara here. I think it's still, it favors Truil just a little bit. He doesn't really have the damage output to deal with this Kinky. Molong's snipe is already gone. There's glancing on the Carnal, has no stun opportunity, and all the cooldowns have been reset. Neb looking for the Provoke on top of Okeanos, not receiving that Provoke oh, there. Skill man. 2 comes out with Mo Long, only has that stun laying on top of that Volantis. Okeanos with the Skill 2 looking for a reset on top of the Connell and does receive that reset. Big second okay. skill comes out, drops the Mo Long, and there you yeah, have it! I don't it. know what the fuck True just happened. taking round one away from Daniel Karaoke. Yeah, the rough match there, that Kinky actually had a lot of pressure and a lot of strength. Daniel didn't really have the damage output to deal with it, as well, alongside also missing the bomb with the Sierra. He really needed the pressure early on to either kill the Kinky or to take out that Okeanos and deny the Ganymede. The, the biggest problem with that whole it's not a kind loss. of setup is that you're... It's... What is the best out of three, right? All right, let's, uh, let's do the casting, guys. Let's do the casting. Oh... But I like to have I like to have sound. <laughs> oh, Kokona Nito, thank you, man. Thank you for the three months. All right. So Danny Karaoke versus True Will. True Will win the first uh, first match. We have a pre ban of Ragdoll and uh, Juno. Um, uh, yeah. So it was pretty unfortunate that Daniel didn't land any, basically none of his bombs. Uh, would have probably uh, turned the tides or turnable tables. All right, Oki with the first pick. I mean, True Will with the Oki first pick. <laughs> Put some music in the background. Yeah, let's fucking do that. All right, we have a Sierra pick from uh, Daniel with what? What are you going to add to it? Man, what do we have as music? That is not... Um, Jesus. All right, we have a Mo Long. You know what? We're going to have them in the background. It's going to be a little bit difficult for Daniel to deal with it if he runs another low uh, low damage comp no we can't just have them Let's for see a moment we see that kinky oh, again we've got cr mo long coming up for daniel karaoke we've seen it before we'll see it again here there is that ganymede coming out again for true wheel alongside the joga 
Daniel has the option to take the Lulu here, but I'm not quite sure how much pressure it actually gives. He really needs to find a lot of damage in his trap. He's a little bit afraid of that kinky, but there it is. There's locking in the, uh, the Yan Hong and Barbara. Yan Hong and Barbara coming up for Daniel Carioca. True Will showing that he does want to bring that oh. Pontos, and we're seeing a Tian Lang oh, with that it as some well. Counters from True Will. Tian Lang is a solid combination here. It's going to be pretty difficult for Daniel to deal with it. There's three units that utilize that attack bar gain, but also leaving up the speed lead Pontos is pretty scary into a draft like this. Um, if he has a Will, Water Ryu, or a more, this could be an opportunity to pick it there, but otherwise, not a lot of really solid last picks that's going to lean True Whale away from banning possibly just the Sierra. Daniel Karaoke definitely taking his time with this last pick, and it is going to be a Chung Pung. Chung Pung wrapping mm -hmm. up Daniel Karaoke's draft as he decides to lock it in, and he does. I like Bands Daniel's are going to be coming draft. out shortly. But it's going to be difficult with it. Might see the Yin Hong ban here instead, that, uh, actually, or the, the, the draft. Yeah, it could just take away the damage or the rotation. I think the Pontus is going through, but the Tianlang most likely is getting banned. If the, if it's not the Tianlang ban, then he's going to ban the speed lead and try to take turn one. Let's see if they Kill confirm fire, that yeah. here. There is it, the ban. Right, we'll do this. How about this, guys? Is it okay? <laughs> okay, all right. So we have True Will with the fir uh, first uh, first turn. All right, he can actually take away the Barbara. What? He's not going for the Barbara. All right, pushback. The music is too loud. Jesus Christ. All right, probably going to reset the Chong Pong. Most likely going to reset the Chong Pong, the only AoE stripper. All right, then we have Pontos. Most likely going to either do the second skill or the third skill. All right, goes for the silence. Doesn't land a single silence. Doesn't land a stun. Of, I mean, it did land a stun on Mo Long. We have a silence. Chung Pong. Doesn't push back. Might go. Okay. Increases the ATB for uh, Barbara. Defense break. Guys, this music is annoying. Holy shit. J let's just listen to them. Jesus. Goes for the Yin Hong, tries to get the Despair Stun, but doesn't quite land. And oh, just barely misses the lethal there on the Jogun. Not quite enough to kill him. And here comes the protection from Pontos. There is the protection with the 1% Jogun stays alive. He does have that scroll. He could be putting out right here. Yan Hong being defense Ooh. broken right now, not having any skills up at the it. moment. Looking for a little bit of attack bar pushback onto the Barbara, not receiving okay. it. And Daniel Karyoka just, just doing killed. what he can with this invincibility up. Oh, doesn't land it. What a tragic resistance. The Barber does not strip the Jogun, so the Jogun does manage to live oh, another man. turn. Ganymede doesn't quite have that ventilate yet, though, so we will see the Jogun possibly going down here in between turns, but that extra turn does bring his cooldowns back. That's right, ganny has got all cooldowns up, ready, primed, and we have Barbara gets put away into the scroll with a little bit more attack bar pushback on top of Yan Hong. Right, no Ponto's Yon looking to put down right that Yan Hong. Not yet, though. Who's the defense break them all along? Knows he's able to take down that Yin Hong. Doesn't worry too much about it. Wants the damage. The big damage on the Gany skill three, that high multiplier skill there. Just do the do, do the third skill. Gany did get that reset. Gets the attack Hong is going down right now. Everybody, Jogun doing exactly what he does, trying to get attack buff on his team. Oh, Hans there we go. Just enough damage with that Not attack buff. Drops the Yan Hong with the initial turn coming out. Gets the silence on both units. Barbara is going to be back, but Tian Lang may be here to shut that down. Choosing to go for the Chunk Pong instead, though. Ganny moving just in front of that Barbara. Not much value here. Molong is about to go down, and it's going to be a 4v1. Dude, I, I wonder... Is not looking like he's in a great I place wonder here. if the skills and shit was Daniel just Kiro for us as viewers, or if, it's, here. I think if it also was for the players. But I don't think it was for the players. Really I just think it was Daniel for the viewers. Much room to breathe. You can see Tian Lang being very, very oppressive. Great second skills with stuns, providing lots of defense All breaks. Right. And just set two, match one. Daniel Karaoke, he just couldn't For the viewers, yeah, probably. And there you have okay. it. Round two going to True Will, and he's going to be moving forward today.
There it is. True Whale taking the victory as expected. Was going a little bit slower in that game number two just to make sure. All right, the first game, uh, the first game, Daniel could have basically won that if Sierra had landed her shit, right? Uh, missed two bombs, juicy damage, loss of juicy damage. But the second game, I don't know. That is just uh, that is something that Truel Truel just had that draft. What came out there was Truel just showing that maybe he didn't need the ragdoll. He had an excellent draft, he had excellent control. Um, you know, I, I I do feel bad for for Daniel Karyok. I wanted to see him do really well, uh, really well here. But as I was saying, he has a rather large whale to climb, and uh, Truel definitely was a little too big for him here. Was making a break down what you saw. He's the what, father what, now. Know, the, the he doesn't play the game. That Daniel Karyoka took and possibly could have taken, or was this just something where True Rail was on his game today? I think it's a bit of both. True Rail is definitely on his game. Um, that pre band Juno, you knew the Pontos was coming through, had the Tianlang ready for the Barbara and the Yinpong. I think really True Rail had every answer ready for Daniel Karyoka, yep. but I feel like in that first match, Daniel kind of he was a little bit shaky on whether or not he wanted to take out that kinky or not as a ban and i think that banning that kinky honestly might have been a better opportunity for him it's a really hard unit to deal with and without having that molong to really snipe it on the first turn you're going to struggle a lot especially trying to rely on yeah but the issue wasn't that yeah well let's see it one more time here as we take the a look issue was, at the uh, replay and again the uh, accuracy uh, check for this just happened uh again in a controlled fashion here for true whale in that last match because uh uh, again, I think Daniel Karaoke came out with the strategy in that first game. It was like, hey, we're going to go a light But the on second game, game I will say can, that uh, uh, that was actually through, But it wasn't game. quite the case there as uh, True Whale pulled through in that last match. Should have the highlight Biggles, coming up. Thank you, man. Thank you for the 21 second. months. But uh, Stoic, again, break it down one more time for us. This was just ultimate control with True Whale here. That Kinky provided plenty of damage, and it was a very dangerous dangerous unit for Daniel Karaoke to deal with not having enough damage to deal with it. We had here Chung Pung outspeeding his team and he got the control over Daniel Karaoke and beautiful Mo Violent Fox coming out of Ganymede. Ganymede can Mo be Beyond. so oppressive Thank you when he for is that Violent Fox with that third skill, reducing attack far, reventilating back onto his team. He's just such a fantastic support and we're going to be seeing a lot of this unit during SWC. Yeah, definitely will. And in that game too, it was the resist lead against the speed lead and you know, uh, Daniel Kayo could put his best foot forward. Wasn't enough today, but his journey is not over. Don't worry, Brazilian fans. We have another match for him to play, but it'll be yeah. next, week next week as True Whale moves forward in our preliminary tournament. He'll be facing the next between these two guys coming up in our preliminary tournament. It's Shizzy against oy, oy, Dustin. Oy. So we've got two players Shizzy here Dustin. that are... Uh, that have torn it up in different ways, specifically Shizzy Stoic. We know about this young man here. He's climbed to the heights before in tournaments that uh, have been hosted in Summoner's War. He was your season 15 legend champion, but since then has kept it up here, 17th, and uh, I believe that is uh, 18th or 16th, somewhere around there, in the teens, and was has he, been uh, like was he Nigerian? Pretty, pretty good, Stoic. What are right? your thoughts on our competitor here, Shizzy? Nigerian, right? Shizzy's a consistent player. Like you said, season 15, legend finish. We've got a rank 17 season, 16, and uh, season 17, a rank 16. Keep using me there with those numbers. We're going back and forth. Shizzy is a very consistent player. You can see he runs that control comp, but he's also capable of bringing high damage like Han. And we've seen Han used many times before, and I'm expecting to see it coming back again. Once in love, quick thoughts on Shizzy. Shizzy very effectively drafts around what he has in terms of the uh, light and dark nat vibes. He's able to find ways to lock in both the Gianna and the Hei Gang, being the strongest counter to it immediately, which honestly, for the most part, oh, provides him a very Sean heavy Opokwu. advantage against people who aren't really Sean prepared Opokwu. to fight the Hei Gang. Opokwu. All right, well, we'll see if Dustin oh. is ready, because Dustin is indeed his opponent in our next match here. Uh, Dustin, I uh, got to chat with him a little bit yesterday. Is it Opokuwu? That was saying, yeah, just kind of got it's sucked in the Opokuwu. game, took a break, came it's back, Opokuwu. and now he finds himself uh, mm -hmm. taking the step in the competitive scene in the America's Cup preliminaries. Dustin Smith. Love, what do you see out of Dustin? So Dustin, even though you see um, a lower rank on the uh, Season 17 finish there, Dustin actually is also a fairly consistent player. Has always played in the high G2s, G3s, yes. you know, top 300 range. 
very consistent Yin Hong user, even through you know her nerf and everything, has found multiple ways to use her effect. Kanpai, everybody. First turn and on second turn. I think Dustin has a lot of opportunity to really change things up in the middle of a match, in the middle of a draft. Stoic, thoughts on keys to success for Dustin if he wants to move on past Shizzy? I'm a big fan of Dustin. Dustin really, really enjoys this game. Um, I see Dustin across Twitch chat all the time. I'm expecting this guy to come in here and honestly just have a lot of fun. I think he is a very consistent player. Uh, he's got great win rates for that um, that, that season 16 here. And we're going to be seeing, uh, I think, some good consistent play out of Dustin. All right. Well, you can see Sierra in that lineup. We'll see who else he pulls out in our next match. One of these two players will be making their next step closer to the America's Cup in SWC 2021. Who will it be? Let's find out together. Shizzy. Dustin in the opening match of the preliminaries happens right now. Stoic, once in love. Y'all, take it away. Here we go, guys. We have our second right, match here. This. Shizzy and Dustin, season 15's legendary, uh, uh, legendary champion here. Shizzy, it's going to be a tough one. Definitely going to be an exciting match here with Dustin. But can he pull it off? We're about to find out as we get into this draft. All right, we'll do this one. Pre-bans are already locked in. We see the Yonhong getting pre-banned from Shizzy in the GI. All right, we have a Gianna Yonhong pre-ban. Fast for first, blah, 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 fast picks. All right, from Dustin, we have Okeanos and Lulu taking away that toxicity of a uh, second awakened unit. All right, Sierra, first pick from Shizzy. Oh, fuck, what is his name again? Oh, uh, what is his name? <laughs> and we have Carnal. Hey gang, we have a Carnal Hey gang. Oh, Diana and Molly from Dustin. I actually haven't played against Dustin. We haven't played against Dustin before. Shizzy, what is your response? You don't have the Gianna, but you do have the Han. We have a Chung Pong Han. Dude, I've been seeing a lot of Hei Gang and Chung Pong together. A lot of Hei Gang and Chung, Chung Pong. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that he's not going to ban the Molly. But it could be last pick ban. No, I don't know if it's going to be a Molly ban. Oh, it could be. Actually, it could be a Molly or uh, Juno ban. It could be a Molly or Juno ban. Yeah, yeah, it could be, it could be a Molly, Juno, or Oki. <laughs> it's not gonna be these two, all right? These don't really uh, synergize. All right, so Molly ban, and we have a Hound ban. All right, so it's. I'm gonna say it's gonna be pretty difficult to deal with uh, Juno. It's gonna be pretty difficult to deal with the Juno. What is that like? Old. All right. Okay, what do we have? All right, gets the glance on Oki. All right. He's probably going to shield up or just first skill. Goes for the shield. All right, gets an additional proc. Maybe stun the... Oh, gets to stun. All right, do we do a second or third? Probably a third. Yes. Gets... Doesn't reset Okeanos. Gets the full pushback on Diana. Probably going to use the second skill here. Just to capitalize the damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. So Sierra Bomb on who exactly? We still have Lulu with immunity. This is just going to be um, not going to bomb. Not going to bomb. Maybe land a bomb now? Yeah. It's going to be difficult for Shizzy to deal with Dustin um, if the Sierra is dead. So I I'm pretty sure the Sierra will be the prime target. All right. Sword Rain, do we have some... Additional damage, damage. All right, all right. No damage on Oki or Juno, but gets the, the stun and slow. Doesn't land the bombs. All right, so this is a weird fucking SWC for Sierra. No bombs landed yet. All right. Ola Chica's keepo. Yo, Ernie, thank you, man. Thank you for the seven months. Gets the defense break on Okeanos. Does it, Diana get a proc? Diana does not get a proc. Sierra does not get a proc. All right, can we land and provoke? Doesn't really matter who you provoke. Uh, actually, it does. Doesn't land the provoke on Lulu. 
All right, so Oki. What about the stunts? What about the stunts does get everyone except for Heigang? Maybe push back the Oki a bit. Gets Doesn't get the pushback. All right, so we have Chung Pong with the proc. Only has the first skill. All right, Sierra. I mean, Juno. No stun landed. Three crit rates. Oh, that is a beautiful proc. Probably going to capitalize on the Diana. Yes, does that. Gets almost full ATB. All right, does can Juno control? No control. No def No stuns. No stunts at all. Maybe push back the Lulu. Doesn't land the pushback. Can you kill the, the Diana right now? All right. The first bomb of the tournament, guys. There we go. The, the, the Diana is dead. That is not bad, actually. But it's still going to be difficult to deal with this Juno. Will still be pretty difficult to, to, to deal with the Juno. No immunity. Gets a... Oh, okay, okay. Gets a proc. Uh, maybe put it on Oki. Or maybe not. Puts it on, on himself. Interesting. Wants to keep himself alive so that he can capitalize with Juno, probably. Oh, those are some bad, bad, bad debuffs on Juno. Maybe pushback. Can get the pushback. All right. Jesus. This Carnal is doing a lot of damage. All right. So just capitalize on Oki. Yeah, there we go. Put yeah, just just put the bomb out. It's all right. He's still gonna. Oh, I would probably go for the bomb, but it's all right. That's all right. That Sierra is almost on the brink of dying. Okay, okay, okay. Still, Carnal, Carnal will be a heavy contender against Juno, so that's not bad. Are we gonna see? Okay, capitalizes on uh, on Juno, but Juno gets the revenge proc. All right, so are we going to go for the strips? Goes for the strip. Doesn't land a debuff on anyone but Lulu. All right, we have a bomb right now. I would probably keep the bomb. Ooh, ooh, yo, 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 yo. Okay, can we land a provoke on the Oki? Does land a provoke, but let's see. Does Oki give the bomb back? Doesn't give the bomb back. All right, so can we see a pushback on Lulu maybe? Or maybe just capitalize on someone else. Yeah, he's going for the pushback on Lulu. Maybe, yeah, he's going to detonate. Can you get an additional proc to put a fucking bomb? <laughs> All right. It's not going to mean much because Lulu does have... Oh, there we go. Okay, it's looking pretty good for Shizzy. Carnal is going to solo Juno. That is probably very likely. But it's not going to be a solo since uh, Shizzy already has his whole team. Alive. Gets a pushback. Alright. Doesn't get a pushback. Alright, now you can put a bomb and detonate. There we go. Very nice. I was I was very skeptical at first. Was very skeptical. But I feel like Dustin was spreading out the damage a bit. Alright, let's go back to these beautiful fellas. Taking second turn against somebody who has the Sierra, has the Hagen, has the Colonel. You got a slow debuff, you have a speed you have a speed lead. There's just a lot of control that you really can't play around. You know, the Molly and the Lulu pick together were fairly effective, but I think he really needed to get more mileage out of that Diana before she went down. It was nice. Well, Dustin's All right. gonna have an opportunity. I thought it was going to be a longer break. All right, what do we have as a, as a ban? So the previous uh, pre-ban was a Gianna and Yon Hong. That's not going to be it right now. So he's going to ban the Han and the Sierra. Since Dustin has the, fir uh, ha has the first pick, he, uh, Shizzy just wants to take away the Sierra first pick from him. All right, so what is the first pick from Dustin? It's going to be a pretty fast pick. Yes, there we go with the Oki. Okay, Shizzy, what is your response? You don't really need to go with the Gianna early. You can leave that for last. Knowing that your opponent doesn't really have a Gianna. By the way, guys, is the volume okay with the music? All right, we have a Colonel first pick. Oh, Colonel Lulu. Colonel Lulu. All right, then we have Dustin with the Yon Hong and Mo Long. That's a pretty good combination. Extremely combination deadly. All right, Shizzy taking his time to pick. No codes yet, BK. 
Exclamation code, guys. <laughs> All right, Shizzy with the Ganymede and Chung Pong. What's up, Hydra? What's up, Ditson? All right, Dustin with the Molly. Dustin teams. Dustin's team looks pretty uh, juicy so far. Ooh. Oh, that Ryu is a very juicy pick. Oh, okay. It might be a last pick ban on Shizzy. Whatever Shizzy picks now, it's probably going to be banned. Unless Shizzy is going to ban the, the Ryu. It's surprising. It's probably going to be a Gianna, yeah. And uh, the Gianna is probably going to get banned. And Shizzy is probably going to ban the fire Ryu because it is a counter to Shizzy's whole team. All right, what are the bans? We're probably gonna not see the Ryu and we're not gonna see the Gianna. Oh, doesn't ban. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know, guys. But from my experience, my Ryu doesn't do shit. Okay, so I can I can understand why Shizzy didn't ban it. So probably it's going to go to his favor, you know. But what if I draft the Fire Ryu, it's gonna fuck me over. All right, but let's uh, let's see how it's going to look. Lulu can solo the Fire Ryu. Nope. But let's see. All right, so Oki goes first. We're gonna see a reset on someone. The Chongpong reset. There we go. It's a pretty fast Chongpong. Very fast Chung Pong. So no defense break, no strips, and no resets. Gets an additional proc. That is a very fast Chung Pong, I will say. Alright. Alright, no pushback. Ooh, okay, that is a fast Gany as well. So pushback on Oki. I mean reset on Oki. Uh might go for the third skill. You could go for the third skill. I, I would go for the third skill doesn't go for the third skill but it's all right he doesn't need to go for the third skill all right dragon stance oh my god full team full team stun what is this mo long what the fuck this is 2016 all over again what is it 2018 i don't remember exactly the date okay that was a juicy mo long stun which could turn around the whole f whole game. All he has to do is remove the carnal from the game, and then it's going to be pretty um yeah pretty favored towards Dustin. But we have Lulu. Lulu is a juicy little G7 unit, right? All right, let's see, let's see. All right, can you get the stuns? Doesn't land any stun. Gets two uh, debuffs on Molly and uh, the Ryu. Gets a defense break on the on the Molly. Uh, Ryu gets the revenge. All right, ventilate the Carnal. All right, I feel it's gonna be it's gonna be Fire Ryu versus the World. Fire Ryu versus the World. That's probably what's going to happen. Maybe capitalize with a defense break on the Lulu. Doesn't land the Lulu. Uh, doesn't land the uh, defense break. All right, third skill. Doesn't get a single stun. Oh, that is a beautiful, beautiful proc. Oh, man. Okay, it's going to be... It's going to be Fire Ryu versus the world. Let's see what's going to... Man, it's, we're going to see what's going to happen here. Don't worry, guys. It's game is not over yet, but it it is looking pretty bleak for Dustin. No, no, it's looking pretty bleak for Dustin, but it's not over 100%. All right. All right. Can you, will you glance? Gets the glance. All right, guys, let's see. Let's see. Second skill might as well. Okay. Okay. That's Chung Pong dead. That is Chung Pong dead, but probably gonna ventilate the Carnal so that P Carnal can potentially stun the the Ryu. Let's see what's going to happen. No stuns, guys, guys. 
guys let's fucking see lulu listen lulu can't solo if there is a chance for lulu to solo but it's very unlikely and i'm pretty i'm feeling the i'm feeling the dust in here i am feeling the fucking dust in out of this shit okay doesn't glance gets a glance over there full hp almost full hp back oh full hp there we go ah uh, maybe do the first kill i would probably go for the first no put their immunity up on carnal so that he doesn't get the uh, yeah 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 attack broken or whatever all right there we go you see that glance guys all right you see that glance as well guys it's looking pretty fucking bleak for shizzy it's looking pretty fucking bleak for shizzy You need to land the stun and push back. Oh, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, Shizzy. This, uh, you could die right now. All right. Can you land a stun? That is all you need. Gets a stun! Okay, okay. He gets the fucking stun out of this shit, guys. Now he's going to capitalize some damage. Can he get a proc? He doesn't get a proc. All right, just capitalize damage. That's all you need to do. Capitalize damage. There we go, Shizzy. All right. Okay. I still want to... Ooh. Ooh, yo, yo, yo. Okay, it's a battle of the fucking beast, guys. Ooh, gets a glance. Okay, can you, uh, will you glance? You have a bris. Oh, no glance, no glance. Will you capitalize some damage here? Ooh, okay. That is game, guys. Okay, that was close. That was super fucking close. Shizzy goes into the next round. Well played. I was looking pretty scary, guys. I'm not gonna lie. It looked pretty scary. When he came, uh, when he looked, when he didn't ban that fire, Ryu. Just it's fire, Ryu. It was shades of Miho. So used to seeing Miho do that kind of reverse revenge, kind of come back there. But fire, Ryu. Beautiful game. Coming Beautiful up game. huge for Dustin, but falls just short in game number two. And even in that game number one, that was a fantastic matchup between both those guys. Uh, Analyst, I've got to ask. This is SWC, love? guys. What is going on with accuracy, man? Like. The CRs aren't landing anything. No one's landing anything, and it's leading to these exciting, drawn, long, drawn-out matches. You know, a lot of players have actually opted to go a little bit lower on the accuracy and focus more on additional damage with the crit rotation, just because the fixed damage on that is way stronger. They have come to realize that, hey, if I miss the bomb, I can still rip through Thank my you, enemies. So it could be that. It could be a little bit of bad RNG, but who knows? Yeah, well, let's take a look at it one more time from our replay of that last match here. <laughs> Again, uh, Chizzy able to outlast here, but that first one, Stoic, was 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 very fun to watch. Yeah, that but first that match was very stun, well guys. Chizzy played that fantastic, but looking at this second match here, this is one of those oh. matches where you're covered in sweat, but you can't help but say, easy, at the very end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm guys, sure that's what Chizzy said. He, was, he wasn't really sweating good, at all. <laughs> Fucking Again, sexy, the replay man. Was, Look at that. Look at that fucking beautiful shiny ass face, guys. You can't deny Stoic with that sexy fucking Boston uh, accent, all right? For the Americans so Cup preliminary. We take so a look good. at the bracket. Uh, here we go. Bam. Uh, Shizzy's name now written in pen. Wait, did as they he's going to go up against True Whale. Both these guys go 2 0. The journey's a little bit different here, but you. Wait, did they actually show replay? Stop. We've got the Barrett's and Big V, who will also be fighting for their right to move on in the America's Cup. Again, uh, these are the opening matches. So two wins and you're in, you lose, you're not done. It's a double elimination bracket, but you won't play until next week. Zephyrus and Big V. All right, bam, stats. Zephyrus right here, a worthy opponent, leveling up at the right time in the hundreds over in season 15, but season 16, or se season 16, but over in oh. season 17, turned it on and finished over 18th stoic. Yep, that's right. I mean, Zafarius, a returning player, he played last year, played up against Truck, and we had some pretty rough matches uh -uh. up against Truck. Benjamin here, but You know what? Zafarius has a new contender here. Pretty high new face, uh, like big rank on I'm this season. I think Zafarius do fairly well here. We can see he has, you know, a pretty good win rate in that season 17, and he definitely picked it up a whole lot compared to this previous season. But Zafarius is definitely a strong competitor. I'm, I'm Wait, is Zafarius the guy really that well. has uh, the yeah, Witcher lots profile of art picture? Masters, lots of uh, oracles, you know, very meta here. Once is Zafarius the guy with the. Uh, yeah, seeing a lot of that. Uh, a lot of that's the Witcher profile against, picture. You know, even ah, in the season four. Okay, okay, I think okay. the Vanessa is a little bit on the weirder side for me when it comes to that season 16 meta. But at the end of the day, you got the Gianna Sierra. It's a good combination to run through. 
Yeah, well, Zafarius, part of that malicious crew, will be up against I need, I need Big another drink, V. So Big yeah, V qualifying in consistent Ooh, around Nikki. the 70s. Uh, Big oh, V has like a couple Big units v, here that are going to be oh, surprised. The more will be shown up. So not Water Ryu, but the more uh, will be here in his toolbox. Big V, uh, what, what should we be expecting out of him? What's his path to victory once in love? Uh, I'm interested to see if he goes for some sort of Nikki cleave. Uh, Nikki got a pretty strong buff that gives her a very strong heal and additional damage is incredible with her uh, third skill there. But also that unique Asima pick. I think we uh, I think we commonly see a 100 resist Asima nowadays with the artifact changes. I'm interested to see if he goes for that turn two opportunity with that and the Kinky. <sighs> Stoic, while we got a little bit of time here, what are your thoughts on Big V, part of the 27 <laughs> Cups of Whiskey plan? matches his W. I mean, that's right. That looks out to me and I see that I'm relating to him already. Big V is actually a proud father and a whiskey drinker. I like both of these, but I'm not too <laughs> sure these are going to help him here. But I still would really like to see Big V do well. Yeah, definitely. And when you look at the matchup between uh, these two, two contrasting styles, not all the same types of units, too. And I kind of wanted to get your thoughts here uh, real quick, Once in Love, on what we've seen so far compared to what you think we're going to see in this matchup. So what we've seen so far uh, in the True Whale versus Daniel Karaoke matchup, we saw a lot of clean, consistent, this is my draft, I'm going to run it, it you're, you have to play around me, right? True Whale having an incredible box and incredible opportunity with that Pontos, as well as the Ragdoll potential that he didn't actually quite need to pick, versus what we see in the Shizzy versus Dustin match, where it's a lot more responsive, both players responding to what the other one takes, kind of playing around each other, almost like it's a song and dance. I think Stoic, with uh, this well. various big V game, Sorry. Oh, sorry, brother. Uh, so my thoughts on Zavarius and Big V, I mean, I'm not, I don't okay. really know too much about Big V. So Zavarius, we saw him play very, very strong. You know, I think he did take a match from Trokamu, um, and I'm not too sure if he did too well in the, the loser bracket, to, uh, to my knowledge. I couldn't remember really well. Um, but Big V, I'm very interested to see what he's going to be bringing to the table. You know, this is his first time in SWC. We're going to see if maybe the nerves might get to him or if he's going to keep it cool. And I think we, that's going to show a whole lot in his draft. Stoic, All you right, have well, to stop swinging back and forward. Like he's swinging away from the microphone and we can't hear him. <laughs> to the America's Cup and a little bit further. I'm like, how, what he did in the past? And what are we going to get to know and learn from Big V in this matchup? Let's find out. Stoic once in love. Take it away. I'll Here drink we for go, you, John. guys. Getting into our first round between Zavarius okay. and Big V. Let's do this, guys. We have Big V versus Zavarius. We have that profile picture that we all fucking love and see, to love to see with that sexy ass shit. All right, Big V versus Zavarius. I did like the the season draft that Big V has had. So Chong Pong and Lulu is going to be the pre bands, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Big V with the first pick. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? What is the what is the first pick from Big V? Oh, we have a Gianna first pick. Okay, Zephyrus. Wait, wasn't Zephyrus also with the Gianna? He takes away the Gianna from Zephyrus. Zephyrus goes with the Hey Gang and Oki. Uh, All right, very nice burp, Taki. You, you're welcome. You're very, very welcome. Thank you. All right, Big V, what is your next pick? We have a Molly. Gianna Molly. Gianna Molly Savannah. Gianna Molly Savannah. Oh, no Savannah. We have a Sierra. All right. Okay. Sierra Gianna. Sierra Gianna. All right. Zavarius, what is your third and fourth pick? <laughs> Everyone has a Gianna. That's right. Oh. Carnal and Gani. Interesting. Interesting. It, it is looking like a Gianna ban so far oh oi 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 chow kung pao chow guys the newly buffed chow the one and only chow the uncontrollable chow king joe as Vili loved to call it and kinky and the fucking kinky guys those are some extremely heavy last pick that actually very much counters his opponent uh, not really fully, but it is a really good draft against Zephyrus. Zephyrus.
has having a hard time to make his last pick. Probably shocked by the Chow and very ball sacky kinky pick. Savannah last pick from Zephyrus. It is going to be most likely not a Gianna ban, but it could be a kinky or Chow ban. Maybe not a Chow ban, but I would probably say a kinky ban. Oh, actually, I have no idea. There's so many targets on Big V's team. So it's going to be a Chow ban, and we have a Gani ban on Zephyrus. Gani ban on Zephyrus. Chow. Yeah, I, I agree with the Chow ban, but honestly, Zephyrus could have banned any one of his units. And uh, yeah, all right. Next break. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. There we have. All right. So Gianna with the first turn. Most likely. Is, are you going to go? Yeah, he's going for it. All right. Gets the full pushback. A push forward. Vis doesn't get the reset on Sierra. I don't know if I agree with that uh, strip. But he could have. Like, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it does really matter. He shouldn't have gone for the strip. Should have just done the first kill. All right. Do we see any stunts? Oh, that's some juicy damage. That is some juicy damage, guys. Oh, and a beautiful, beautiful stun on Kinky from the Hay Gang. That's some juicy damage. We are seeing Sierra gone. Most likely going for the capital. Capitalize the damage on the Molly. Molly is dead. Yeah, this is going to be kinky versus the world, but it's probably not going to be anything uh, fructitious about this. Yeah, that is uh, that is a pretty fucking fast game, I would say. Very fast game. No pushback, but that Gianna is dead right now. And since we have a newly nerfed, uh, newly nerfed um, kinky, it's gonna be very difficult for it to solo and this is probably gonna kill it there we go that was a pretty fast f yeah that was a pretty fast fight pretty fast fight can we get a reaction to Syrian cosplay as stream after the match sure 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 Chat in YouTube is spamming live VR. Wait, what? Rune gap, rune gap, true. It could be rune gap, but it's also um, Zephyrus. Actually, you had a pretty good draft. All right, so we have a kinky and a carnal ban. Kinky and carnal ban. Yo, what's up, Valley? All right, so Zephyrus with the Gianna first pick. We have Big V with uh, with a Lulu and Oki. Zephyrus going with the Hey Gang. He loves his Hey Gang and also the Chung Punk. Man, Hey Gang and Chung Punk combination is a beautiful, beautiful combination. You understand? All right, Big V with the Chi Wu. Oh man, I don't know. He keeps bringing. Is it going to be a Hey Gang ban? So we have a Chi Wu and Savannah. What is Zephyrus' last two picks? Okay, CRL. There we go. So uh, Zephyrus this time has the CR and Gianna instead of Big V. Last pick. What are we seeing? A Anvil. Ooh, Anvil. Interesting. A 100 vest Anvil versus the Oki, most likely. No codes yet. Exclamation uh, skit, guys. Exclamation skit. There you go. <laughs> All right. Diana, Diana, last pick from Big V. Pretty interesting. I don't know about Big V's draft. However, Zephyrus does have um, heavy water. Not really heavy, heavy, but he does have a Chong Pong. Heavy wind. Honestly, it's a pretty good game for Diana and uh, Savannah. Chiwa gets the ban. Very interesting. Oki is going to have uh, have a pretty fun time uh, resetting cooldown on some units. Who would use a nemesis? Don't ask me um, questions right now, guys. All right. <laughs> it's going to be very difficult to uh, answer questions and also uh, 
Scuff cast this. All right, full team stun, but Anibal, I mean, Savannah gets a additional proc here. Is he going for the third skill? I would probably go for the... Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. It's all right. It's all right. Maybe third skill here. There we go. Anibal, are we going to see a third skill? Okay, Lulu, no proc from Lulu. That could have changed a lot if Lulu got the proc from there. Are you going to do the third skill? I mean, second skill? No. Nope. Doesn't want to risk uh, the Diana going. But you could possibly go for it right now and hopefully land a glance on the Diana. Lance a glance on Diana. Probably going to push back the Diana. Doesn't go for the pushback on Diana. Diana is going next. Is he going to the first skill and hopeful, hope for a uh, additional proc? Doesn't get an additional proc. There's no need for Animal to do anything but additional proc with the first skill. There we go. No glancing on Oki. Can he land stuns? Lance full team stun. This could be something. I would probably go for the first skill instead of second skill here, but but that's all right. That is all right. Can we see a proc from Savannah? He needs his cooldowns up again. The Diana might free roam. Can you land a defense break on someone right now so that Diana can kill it? Oh, that was a nemesis Gianna, wasn't it? No, it wasn't actually because... Uh, wait, what was it? Was it the Hey Gang uh, passive that just uh, that uh, was triggered? Oh, was the Hey Gang passive? Oh, that's a feels bad man. Look at the strength of Hey Gang, guys. There you go. Yeah, it's looking pretty bleak for Big V right now. Zephyrus. Yeah, his Zephyrus. I will say this: that Hey Gang carried him. That Hey Gang carried him to the to the fucking roof. This Hay Gang did a lot for him. However, maybe not for this fight. It's just... I mean... Honestly... Yeah, just the threat of Hay Gang being there is something. Oh, wait. It's not over yet. Can he get a full team stun? He doesn't get a full team... Oh, he gets additional proc! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! This is where you kill the Anvil and Oki can potentially kill... Wait a minute! Oi! Oh, Oi, oi, oi! Wait a minute! Wait! What am I seeing? Holy fucking... What? Okay! <laughs> Wait, I take back every fucking thing I said. What the fuck? Wait, can someone clip and just tell me what the fuck just happened? Because I probably missed it because I, I don't know where my mind was. Very interesting. Holy shit. <laughs> the Savannah got off the third skill and then Oki got off his third skill. Yeah, but... How did it come to that? Was it Vioprox? I'm, I missed it. I missed it entirely. I'll have to go back and watch this. What's up, Boof? All right, we have a Lulu and Oki uh, pre-bans. Gianna first pick from Big V. Wanted to take that away from Zephyrus. All right, Zephyrus, what is your... Oh, look at that. The Hey Gang. There you go, guys. Hey Gang has to be a ban if Big V wants to be able to utilize his Gianna. Yeah, yeah. That is what, what it's looking like right now. It's going to be a Gianna. It's going to be a Hey Gang ban. Uh, you wouldn't pick double strip into, uh, into a Hey Gang. But you could. I don't know. There is a potential for him to leave it on. But then we have a Water Ryu also with the Chong Pong. I haven't seen a lot of Water Ryu. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen a lot of Water Ryu, guys. So it's nice to see it. All right, Big V with the burps. I mean, Big V with the Kinky and uh, Diana. Zephyr, what do we have as the last pick? Yo, Dodd, thank you so much, man. Thank you for the raid. It could be a fun last pick with like a CN or whatever. It could be uh, a... Uh, could even be a um, Vika. Alright, a Sierra last pick. Interesting. 
So if Big V wants to really capitalize on his uh, chunk, um, Chiwu and Gianna, the Heigang has to be removed. But since Zephyrus picked his uh, picked the um, the Water Ryu, interesting. Well, I don't understand this. I really don't understand this. The Gianna is not going to do much against this uh, Heigang. Okay, that's a pretty fast mo uh, more. Pretty fast more. Goes for this shield. Gets an additional proc. That's really nice. Want to uh, pro uh, proc the passive from the more. There is a potential of um, of one shotting the more right now, but okay. Is he speed tuned? That is a beautiful proc from Zephyrus with that chunk pong. That is a delicious. It's going to look pretty bleak for Big V now that Carnal is going to do go ham. All right, they dehorse the Savannah. Gets an additional proc. This is looking extremely bleak for Big V. Extremely bleak for Big V. All right, Gianna is down. The only way, the only possibility for Big V to win here, the only possibility which just got removed right now was for Diana to proc. However, Diana did do the second skill, so only had first skill if it was awakened. So that is a field spot for Big V. Pretty good fights, I would say. Interesting. However, um, Heigang did a lot for Zephyrus, and um, Big V did not acknowledge the Heigang. And that is gone. There we go. Zephyrus off to the next round. There we go. Zephyrus winning 2 1 versus Big V. Not bad. Big v. Yeah, Zephyrus showing Big V what Big Z looks like and takes the victory there, two to one, and making it close, right? That was one of the best comebacks we've seen in SWC. We saw the Fire Ryu almost come back earlier for Dustin, but this time Big V comes all the way back, gets the win, but then just shuts down any sort of comeback there in game number three. That was a heck of a series between these two competitors, and Zephyrus gets to continue on his march towards the America's Cup. Uh, again, Big V, not oh, out. This was that was Venus our first fun. time Wait, in a matchup Raspberry. where the uh, player that lost was able to pull back one game. Nice. And he'll have the opportunity Raspberry next in my Saturday to try and climb his way out of the bottom side of the bracket. I didn't even notice. Oh, uh, man. Once a lot. Finally, we got some accuracy. Lots of strips. Lots of things procking. And, but this time it was on both sides. Yeah, we saw a lot of it. And we even saw a lot of things hitting through the Molly's passive. You know, in that first match, the Carnal and the Okeanos got full stuns, full slows against the Molly passive. There was a lot of value that Safarius got from both the Carnal and the Okeanos. Carnal, like we've, like Take a we've look said, at Comptos one chat. of the strong... Brazil is raging due to the lack of attention with the Portuguese stream. Wait, what does that mean? What lack of attention? I don't understand. Beautiful additional turns, getting him exactly where he needed him, and that's Check what chat really matters. Unofficial stream. Okay, let's see. Wait, why am I? Latam is not a joke. What does that mean? Latam is not a joke. <sighs> I don't understand what is, what's happening. Don't open chat. There was some uh, not safe for work. Yeah, they don't have mods. They literally only have two mods. <laughs> I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> oh man, Latam is Latam is not a joke. What is Latam? I 
hang on through. All right, faint uh, memory. Rain 44 in season 15, in the 20s, and or season 16, oh. sorry. And then in the 20s, in season 17. Oh, Latino America. Uh, and once oh. in love, I want you to go first, because this is one of your favorite players. Yeah, so there's a couple of reasons. One, Josh is brilliant. Two, doesn't have an LD Nat 5, but still is an absolutely incredible player. Oh, he does. Up that kinky, the Leo he has kinky. and just slaughtered people on the ladder. I am very excited to see how he plays against JS, knowing that JS has a huge box of LDs. So, I, I mean, that's exactly it. Faint memory being someone that keeps on returning. He's played every single SWC, rate, guys. and I'm expecting him to do a lot better this year. I like to look at this SWC as a redemption. This is where faint memory is going to shine. Faint memory oh. is going to prove all of that brilliance and skill. I right really want to see faint this win. This is it. It's his time. It is his yeah. time. Well, I really want going him to, to get any I redemption. Want him to it's going to be up against this I really man want right him to here, JS. So JS coming in with a nice toolbox of units as well. Uh, he's been climbing up the ladder. Father earlier as well. We got to chat about dads. He's one of them as well. Uh, 58th and then cooled off a little bit. Season 17 here once in love, but still a player to be Look at that burn with. mark. Yeah, so JS, I think, wanted to hide a lot of his drafts for season 17. Wanted to uh, kind of keep things a little under wraps, but I know for sure he's a very consistent player. He has a very high win rate against a lot of the good players. Uh, so I, I mean, he we know that his... a lot of success he here in the America's Cup and in the else, SWC what, comes what to preparation. Hiding drafts, that helps, right? It definitely does. You know, being able to add as much curiosity uh, to your character, to your draft, is very, very important in the game of Summoner's War. Because if you're able to predict what's going on or what's happening next, that is the best way to play this game. And JS is playing up against someone who is what amazing is at predicting. Say? You watch Faint Memory real, play his matches, and he real uh, name he unknown plays to plays to a team weight where it is just nothing but variable. And JS weight, has, has oh, quite a player variable, going up against. Weight, so variable, I don't know if he's added fuck? enough mystery to his draft. <laughs> going into this match but real name unknown yeah well again here we go guys these are two of uh the most hyped players in this side of the bracket it's going to be quite the mental game i'm very excited as we get into our final match of the opening stage who will be a step closer to booking their ticket to the america's cup will it be faint memory one of the greatest minds of the game or js who's been climbing oh. his way on through let's find out all right, it's not spamming anymore. Well, here we oh. go. Faint memory, JS. It's going to be our last corner, quarterfinal match here. All right, We've let's got do JS this, guys. First pick, but pre okay, guys, let's fucking watch. All right, faint memory versus JSS. What are we doing? What are we selling? What are we buying? Stranger. Stranger. All right, pre bans. We have a Colonel pre ban and a Neftis pre ban. That is very interesting. I don't really remember what faint memory uh, used to beat me with. Might have been my own arm, but um, it's going to be a very interesting fight. I want to see. So JSS with the first pick. What is the first pick from JSS? What we going to see? Oh, Chong Pong first pick. All right, faint memory. What are you going to respond with? Oh, kinky. Oh, taunting JSS with the kinky pick. Not committing. So we have a Sierra Oki from faint memory. Does JSS have a kinky? I don't really uh, remember if he did. All right, more, more prick from a uh, prick, more pick from JSS and a another wind unit, Ganny. Oh, Chloe, actually, dude, faint Mary, be serious. All right, this is what actually makes you fucking lose. Be fucking serious. All right, stop with the taunts. All right, you can taunt after you win. All right. It's gonna just look fucking bad if you lose. <clears throat> All right, so we have a Kinky and Hey Gang from Faint Memory. We have a, whoa, we have a, fuck, what is her name again? Oh fuck, what is her name? Asima, Asima, and Savannah. Heavy with the wind units on JSS side. Heavy with the wind unit on JSS side. We could probably probably see a oh we see a brand last pick. Is he committing? He commits for the friend last pick. So it might look uh, might look like a oh goes for the friend band. So Oki is probably on Swift and I don't know. I don't know. 
This is going to be a fun fight. I want to see how this is going to go. All right, so we have first turn more. All right, but he still has the Hey Gang in the team. No defense break on the more. Gets the uh, gets the strip. More goes. Oki with the perfect speed tuning lands all stunts. Okay, that is looking pretty fucking clean. All right, can we land the bomb? Lands the bomb on the uh, Sima. No proc from uh, no proc from Savannah. Resets the Savannah. Probably gonna go for the second skill so he can capitalize the AOE damage. Oh man, it's looking like a clean fucking sweep. Clean fucking sweep, guys. That is looking pretty beautiful. Faint Memory is controlling the game pretty perfectly. It's looking pretty bleak because um, it's gonna be br uh, brutal to uh, deal with uh, with uh, with the kinky no matter what. So that is a win towards Faint Memory. Is it best out of three? Yes. Hey gang, listen guys. Hey gang seems to be the unit. All right. Hey gang seems to be the unit. Do not underestimate Hey gang. If there's anything that will come out of this SWC, is that Hey gang is pretty, 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 pretty bueno. All right. Uh, I apologize for my uh, stumbling on words, but I have been drinking. Uh, raspberry. All right, pre-ban was Carnal and Neftis. What is the pre-ban now? Taking their time. There we go. JSS acknowledges the threat and bans the hair gang. All right, faint memory with the Pontos ban. I don't know if Pontos actually is something that he, uh, JSS had. That was a really did. It, wait, did this did does J, JSS have uh, Pontos? It didn't really show on the season uh, bra uh, season drafts. Anyways, oh, he does. It's called homework. All right, faint memory knows his shit. With the first pick, more JSS. What is your response? Going with the Carnal and Lulu. Carnal and Lulu seems to be going hand in hand all the fucking time. There we go. Faint memory with Mo Long. Probably and possibly wants to remove the possibility of JSS having a Lulu and Mo Long combination together with the Carnal. Mmm! There we go, guys! There we go with the Chloe pick! Do not underestimate Chloe! Invincibility, three turn immunity. You do not underestimate this beautiful little fucking shit. All right. Also with a pretty brutal heal with the second skill. All right. So that is going to be a fun combination. We have a faint memory with the more Mo Long Chloe so far. JSS going with the uh, Chung Pong and what? Chung Pong Sierra. Budget Pontos. That is actually fucking accurate. Faint memory with the Oki. Oki and what? Oki Daphnis. It's been a long time. I would love to see Kashmir, guys. Do we have any Kashmiris here in chat? <laughs> Alright, GSS. You're facing triple fire and double water. What is your last pick response? goes with the chow that is actually a pretty solid pick i'm gonna say it solid pick goes for the mo long ban and the chow ban just based on the drafts i don't know what to say i will say that jo uh, the faint memories team looks pretty pretty uh, dangerous pretty dangerous he doesn't have any strippers Chloe goes next. Oh, that's a pretty fast, uh, violent uh, Chong Pong. Very fast, violent Chong Pong. Oh, I don't know about this pushback. Don't know about this pushback. 
but he could potentially kill Sierra. But Sierra doesn't have any immunity. Doesn't have any immunity. I might, we might see a uh, Daphnis do second skill here instead of a third skill. But okay, there we go. Still has immunity. Puts immunity up. That's going to be a free kill if he lands defense break and the uh, the the strip from Daphnis. I'm specifically strictly looking at this Daphnis right now. Is he gonna wait? If he gets a proc right now, doesn't get a proc right now. Doesn't get a proc. So who is who is this Daphnis going to kill? This uh, Colonel is doing next to nothing because of Chloe's three turn immunity. What is going to be the kill? Goes for the Chung Pong kill. There we go. Yeah, it's it's not gonna be a pretty. Uh, it's not gonna be a fun ride for JSS right now. Full immunity on Faint Marie's team. Nothing JSS can do to capitalize his skills against him. Gets an additional proc, but doesn't really matter. Might as well capitalize, but you might as well also save it because you've been saving it. But he's probably going to be reset right now. M might reset this here, actually. Oh, it doesn't even land the reset doesn't land the reset so sierra has a free bomb right now but it's not gonna do much we have a daphnis with a shield humongous shield and a fucking resistance guys what is this what is wrong with sierra this swc anyways i will probably call it right now unless unless this carnal can do some beautiful shit but it's very unlikely and on uh, a cherry on top to uh to uh, just just a cherry on top this chloe was on violent all right that is a clean sweep for faint memory versus jss not gonna lie pretty fun fights Pretty fun fights. GG well played, faint memory. Hopefully you can do the same thing for the next fight. Stoic faint memory, not letting down. The pressure was on. You know, we've seen him stumble before, but not the case this time. That was one of the most controlled matches we've seen so far. And how is the uh, chat looking? You know, for on JS's side, we got to keep bringing it up. What's the love, man? What's going on with the Sierras? They can't see what is happening. They can't place. It's just, just put it, just put it on them, please. Just. Just get it there. Whatever. No, we, we we always say Sierra is the best daughter. She puts on continuous damage and misses the bomb every single time. <laughs> you know, she's an incredible unit. She's a speed lead that does true damage with the bombs. But at the end of the day, if she misses, she doesn't do anything for you. Yeah, uh, uh, again, and just was had dominated last year's SWC. Was just a need to pick and still currently relevant in the meta. But uh, just a lot of missing, a lot of missing. And in that last game, once immunity went up, no way to, strum it, uh, st uh, uh, to strip down. That felt very, very difficult as we take a look at that match one more time. Because again, it was uh, just a hell, uh, uh, a hell of a, a controlled game there by Faint Memory. One of the players in the Americas region who has so much potential, was so proud of never using LD, now uh, uh, gets the unit and is just, again, just even stronger with the fact that uh, he's able to just control opponents that are what some of the best in the world, some of the best in the Americas region in JS. And so Faint Memory continues on his journey for the Americas Cup. My goodness, uh, it was just it's a, probably gonna a, be a break, break right now, right? showing. And what a showing for all of the uh, players so far in the tournament, even those that have fallen uh, earlier as we take a look at uh, our casters one more time to bring them on in uh, stoic it, it's been a heck of a start to the tournament so far hasn't it it really has it's been a heck of a stat we've seen incredible plays we've seen honestly some upsets as well but honestly everybody played phenomenal uh watching faint memory even wrap up this last match he's just showing how comfortable he is this is just another day for for swc for him and it's it just it feels like a walk in the park watching him play yeah, well, we get to see it one more time with this replay. Once in love, it, I, I feel like this is a pretty straightforward one, right? 
Yeah, it was pretty straightforward. Didn't really have what the fuck are these replays? The Gang was absolutely incredible. Needed this incredible speed tuning to really deny. I don't understand these replays. Gang attack bar boost, but that Chloe pick was just. Oh, it was it got me going. I, I saw that. I was like, here we go. It's time for an incredible match. You guys are going to see something you've never seen before, and you're going to love That's it. all right as a replay. This yep. last well, one. But the first go. one, Faint what the memory. fuck? memory. Taking care of business and was able to oh. move on in the tournament. He's just been dominant and, and definitely scary for an opponent that's to play him. Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have the opponents that are supposed to play him. Put the bracket up. Bam. There it is. It's Zafarius and Faint Memory on the bottom side of the winner's bracket. The Ooh. next one that wins will be moving on to America's Cup proper. Don't have to worry about anything. They can start prepping and don't have to worry about next week. But the match that we'll have after the short break, it'll be all right, true guys. whale. All right, let's uh, let's do a uh, uh, oral oral pull. Oral pull. True whale versus Shizzy. What are we saying? What are we buying? What are we selling? True whale versus Shizzy. Who? We'll continue. What are we selling? What are we buying? A lot of true whales. A lot of true whales. Interesting. A lot of true whales. All right. We have a lot of true whales. Shizzy will King Joe to true whale. We'll see. All right, guys. There you go. Welcome, SWC. Welcome to SWC 21. Enjoy. That is the that is the code. Don't fucking ask again. If you want to know where the code is, it's going to be on Discord. All right. If you want to know where the code is, it is on it, it is on Discord, guys. But the the match. Let's do this. All right. Let's fucking see, see this. This is Shizzy versus True Will. Both both are G3, very close to each other in ranks. We have a pre ban. Gianna and Pontos, guys. Let's fucking do this. All right. What are we saying, guys, in chat? What are we thinking? What are we buying? Who do we want to win? Who do we want to fucking win? All right. Shizzy with the first pick, Oki. True Will responding with uh, 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 Lulu and Gani. Interesting first picks from uh, True Will. Slatan. All right. Shizzy, Chong Pong, and Mo Long. It seems to be a common thing right now, like uh, the opponent picking Lulu and um, and uh, wait, <laughs> someone picks Lulu and the opponent picks the, uh, the, the the counterpart, which would be Mo Long in this aspect, which is not really a counterpart. But who the fuck cares? True Will with the Ragdoll and Kinky. True Will with the Ragdoll, Kinky. That is very juicy picks interesting with the Gani as well what is uh true whale's last pick then fuck i'm bur burping like a mother you just have to take my burp guy yeah, burp all right Whoa. all right shizzy what are your last two picks sierra carnal so either true Will is going to go with the immunity double immunity which would be a pretty good pick Maybe like a Wusa or something. Uh, and then just ban Shiz's only stripper. I mean, AoE stripper. There we go. Wusa last pick from True Whale. Meaning that he's going to ban the Chung Pong. He's not going to pick Pontos if Pontos is banned, guys. So Shizzy will probably not be able to use his Chung Pong. And I don't know if Shizzy is going to ban either a damage dealer... Or one of the immunities. He takes away one of the immunities. Alright, so... Just as we assumed... Lulu being, being banned and also Chung Pong. So, we still have strippers in Chizzy's team, which is Mo Long and Oki. And that is well enough to win a game. I don't understand this, uh, this really bad CG Oki. <laughs> okay so this wusa is on uh is on violent are we gonna see a reset on uh, gani lance the reset jesus that is a very squishy uh gani that is a extremely squishy gani so are we gonna see a um is the molong uh does the molong go before nope it doesn't 
It doesn't. So Carnal is not going to do much here. And that is a lot of damage on Oki. Oki almost already at 50%. I'd like to see a second skill. Hopefully strip something. He gets his strip on, uh, on Wusa. Probably going to go for the defense break here. So he can capitalize some damage from, uh, from Ragdoll. Doesn't get the defense break. But Oki is still dead no matter what. Does he land a bomb? All right. Second bomb or maybe the third bomb of the game. There you go, guys. Sierra landing a bomb. Doesn't land the stun, though. So Shizzy is in a pretty fucking tight spot right now. It's not looking good for Shizzy. I gotta be honest. I would have liked to see Shizzy ban either uh, either damage. Like, most... Yeah, a damage dealer is what I would have liked to see Shizzy ban instead of, a, instead of immunity. But that's something he can uh, take with him to the next game. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Think it was the best ban? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I'm, I gotta be honest. I might wanted, I might have wanted to see, uh, uh, maybe a ragdoll ban instead, because then Shizzy would have had his um. Uh, he would have had his uh, turn order. All right, Truwell with the first win. Is this the best out of five? Did they say that? I don't know if they said it. But first game to Truwell. It's best out of five. Why the fuck reset Gani? Why not? Molo, I mean, Wusa was on uh, uh, vi uh, Violent and he was slow. So if he resets Gani, then Gani doesn't have third skill, right? And Gani can always still ventilate Wusa if Wusa gets uh, reset, right? So that's why. All right. Ragdoll ban and then we have a Lulu ban. First pick for Truel. Truel goes with the Okeanos. Shizzy, what is your response here? Taking his time. Knows the immediate threat that is Truel. Goes with a Gani and Gianna. Gani Gianna. Okay, True Will with, uh, with a second uh, Sea Emperor. Pontos! Pontos Sierra, double speed lead. Shizzy, what are we going to respond? I'd like to see a Juno. Juno wouldn't be a bad pick right now. But Juno would be a good last pick, to be honest. Instead of a, instead of a third or fourth pick. Especially since True Will has two more picks to do. All right, we see a uh, Chong Pong and Carnal on Shizzy side. True Will, what are we gonna do? What are we? What are we gonna do? All right, okay. So triple speed lead from True Will. <laughs> triple speed lead, guys. There we go. Joe Gun. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Juno wouldn't be a bad pick here. Yeah, Juno would actually be a pretty okay pick. Hey Gang as well. Hey Gang is very, very, very good pick as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Hey Gang. So probably gonna see a um. Yeah, there is a chance that Hey Gang will get banned here. But there is a lot of threat on Shizzy towards True Whale.
Hagen gets removed. Okeanos gets uh, gets removed as well. So, I don't know. Depends on the speed tuning on Shizzy's side. Um, but it could be good. It could be beneficial towards Shizzy. But let's see. Oh, that is a pretty fucking bonkers. Uh, uh, Joe Gunn. Very fast. Are we gonna get... Yeah, okay. And then we get... Do we get a silence here as well? No silence on... Okay, only Gianna gets silenced. Okay. So, are we gonna bomb this carnal? Or are we gonna bomb the... Oh, that's a pretty shame... That's pretty shameful, guys. Oh, no stun either. But that is a beautiful proc. Beautiful proc. So that he can kill the Gany. Gany, Gany is removed out of the game. But Shizzy, it's not over. It is absolutely not over. Shizzy, what are we doing here? Can we get full team stun and slow on everybody? Gets stun on two and almost full team slow. So are we going to go for the defense break or a pushback here? What are we thinking, Shizzy? Let's go for the defense break, right? There we go. Maybe kill. Oh, that's a beautiful proc. Maybe push back the Pontos or maybe push back the Sierra, to be honest. I would have gone... Okay, Pontus doesn't actually have any skills. So this is where we kill the Sierra. You can bomb... Actually, you can bomb whoever the fuck you want right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sierra is gone. Maybe. Let's see. If Carnal does his shit, that Sierra is gone. There we go. Push back. That is a juicy fight. Very juicy fight. Oh, he has Soul Tap or Scroll Tap. I don't know what the name is. But this is where he has to provoke a kill. Oh, that's a beautiful proc from Shizzy. Beautiful proc. So this is where Sierra is gone. And that is a win to Shizzy. 1-1. One, one. Very nice. Extremely nice. I wish I remember what I saw, but it was all beautiful. I think it's best out of five. Okay. Let's see. All right. Pontos and Gianna getting banned. Shizzy can't use his uh, Gianna. Pontos is not av available for True Whale. So I don't know if we're going to see the same fight as the uh, first game. I'd rather not see it. I'd rather see some fun, sh fun styles from both of them. But Shizzy is going with Okeanos. True will. Are we going to see that? Okay. It seems like the first draft... Uh, uh. It looks like how True will drafted the first game. Same with Shizzy. Then we have uh, Chong Pong and Carnal from Shizzy's side. True will. Are we going to see a Ragdoll and... Um, will we see a Ragdoll? Will we see a Ragdoll Kinky? Is it going to be a Ragdoll Kinky? Okay, Molong. Molong, you gonna commit? Are we committing? Shizzy, what is your response? What is your response towards that ragdoll, Molong? Are we gonna see something juicy? Can we see double Onimusha? Can we see double Onimusha? This is a perfect fucking double Onimusha game. Goes with the Han and Chiwu. Chuwil, are we gonna see a Hey Gang from you? Oh. Oy oy oy, Valantis, the toxic incarnated. The toxic toxicity itself. Oh. oh, that is a juicy comp. That is a juicy comp. But I I can maybe see a... I don't know. It's either going to be a... It's either... Ooh, I don't know. I would have liked to see a ban on Vendlantis or Lulu. Yeah. Honestly, I would have liked to see a ban on Vendlantis or Lulu. But it also depends on if Shizzy has immunity or not. Which he does. So I, I would have rather see a ban on uh, Ludo Vent Valentis. But that is beautiful. He gets everything. Can he get the pushback? Gets the pushback. 
Volant is not doing his 50% that always afflicts me. Gets a stun on Volantis. All right, Han, what can we do here? Lance defense break. Probably don't need to kill it with the, with the first or second skill. You can use that for something else. Doesn't land a stun. Oh, gets an additional proc. Gets an additional proc. Capitalize the, the damage on Lulu. This is looking pretty bleak for True Whale. All right, so second skill. Oh, that's a win. That was a pretty fucking fast win. It was beautiful to see that. Very beautiful to see that. All right, we're probably going to see the same pre bands. La 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 la. Okay, wait, Ragdoll Lulu. Was that the same thing we saw last time? I don't know. Don't remember. But this time, Truel has Pontos and Shizzy has his uh, Gianna. Are there codes already? It's on Discord. Lakudo, exclamation Discord. All right, Shizzy with the Gianna Gani. All right, Truel, what are we seeing? Okay, Sierra. Contemplating. Okay, goes the double speed lead again. So Sierra Pontos basically wants to build around what uh, these two units. It seems like that is what True Will is doing. Alright, see a Chiwu. I'd like to see a Hay Gang from True Whale. Okay, Carnal. Carnal Han. 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 The Hansons. Anyways, True Whale, what is your last two picks? Okay, triple speed lead again. We have more Chung Pong. And the Chibu. I like the draft. Okay, I will say this, guys. You might look at this and say, fucking Resident Sleeper. It's not Resident Sleeper. This is pretty high octane fight. I like this. It's a very colorful teams we're seeing. Very colorful teams. Uh, what we know is that True Whale, uh, True Whale's more is really fast. So uh, they're going to be very hesitant. Like, I don't know. Might go for the... They're probably going to compete for first turn here. So it's probably going to be a ban. Oh, actually not. So Shizzy will probably get the first turn here. Um, and the question is... If he is going to save... Most likely, Chiwu going first. Yeah, Chiwu going first. I don't know if he should use it. Uses it. That is beautiful actually beautiful however oki goes before gani okianos goes before gani so um yeah that gani that oki will probably get stunned since he's going to use his third skill or second no he's going to use the second skill and reset the gani that's what's going to happen here that is what's going to happen here yep lancet interesting interesting and probably ventilate the gianna but wait why didn't Interesting. I would have liked to see Gianna use her third skill to stun that uh, Sierra. Because Gani could have just ventilated the Gianna later. Ooh, I don't know what's happening. Okay, can he land a stun on Pontos? Oh, that is a clutch proc! Jesus Christ, that is a clutch proc! That was a very clutch proc. Okay. So, it's not over yet, guys. It is not over yet. Sierra can do a lot of juicy shit here. Ponto still has his third and second skill. Goes for Holy Ground. Does he get a proc? Doesn't get a proc. So is he going to go for the strip on, uh, on the Sierra? So that he can stun with... No. 
Okay, so Han, Han doesn't have stun. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so... So Chung Pong already... Chung Pong has his third skill. Chung Pong has his third skill, so it was a bit waste to use that from Gami. Oh, that's a beautiful proc from Sierra. I told you guys, Sierra will carry this to infinity. So it's looking pretty bleak for Shizzy right now. It is looking very bleak for Shizzy, guys. It is looking extremely bleak for Shizzy. However, it's not entirely over unless... Depends on how tanky this, uh, this, uh, this, um... This Han is. But yeah, it's over. This is over. This is a game to, uh, for, for True Whale. Just land that last bomb on uh, on Chibu and you're and you're done. Yeah, I would have rather see um, I would have rather see um, uh, what have, what would I rather see? Yeah, I'd rather see uh, Shizzy use his Gianna. But uh, since he didn't get what, who didn't he get the pushback on? Did he get the pushback on Oki? I, I don't remember. Because uh, the Oki did cut before Gani, which was the game-breaking shit. Anyways, now we have Pontos and Gianna. Alright, we're gonna probably see the same draft as the first game. We have... Yeah, there we go. We have Gani, Lulu, or maybe not a Gani. Are we gonna see a Gani or not, True Will? This is the last fight. No Gani, but Chung Pong takes away the Chung Pong away from Shizzy that won him the last game. But Shizzy instead takes the Hey Gang and Gani, which is very interesting. Truil with a with a kinky ragdoll. Ooh, that is potent. That is extremely potent. I don't know about the Savannah, but I do know a lot about that Mo Long do know a lot about that Molong. If he wants to be able to control the game, I would rather see a ban on the Ragdoll so that Chizzy can't get his... Uh, oh, that is a beautiful last pick, guys. That is a beautiful last pick. And most likely a ban. Yeah. I'm gonna say this. I don't know much. <laughs> I don't know much! But I am favoring this towards um, True Whale just because of the Ragdoll Kinky. That is a very fast uh, Chung Pong. Very sh fast Chung Pong. Is he going to land glancing on everyone? Interesting. Oi, oi, oi! Clutch stuns! Holy fucking shit! Kebab! Those were some beautiful, beautiful stuns and might have won him the game. We'll have to see this. We'll have to see this pan out. Those two stuns, Jesus. Pushback. Doesn't get the pushback, but that is a dead Lulu. That is a dead Lulu. Uh, yeah, just reset Savannah. What? Ventilate Savannah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, Alright, so the ventilate wasn't necessary. But it is going to be uh, pretty dangerous because that Kinky, if Kinky does not go down right now. There is a solo potential. Has all, uh, has all skills. Gets the pushback. I'm probably gonna s we're probably gonna see a dead uh, Savannah right now. Yeah, you can kill the Chung Pong. Doesn't get the crit. That's uh, pretty feels bad. Guys, I don't know, but I think Kinky will solo this. Don't know much, but I think Kinky will solo this. Yep. That is, uh, yep. That is it. I can call it right now. I probably shouldn't.
but that is uh that is game we'll see <laughs> we'll have to fucking see yeah yep there we go wait wait There is a chance if he stuns Kinky right now. That's all you have. Oh! Wait! No, no, there's no way. Is it? Is there a way? Ventilate. Don't go for the second skill. Oi, yo, yo! Wait! What the? <laughs> what the fuck? He got it, guys! Holy fuck! <laughs> Shizzy! Patience incarnated with those fucking stunts! <laughs> no log! True will getting mo longered! Holy fuck! Oh, he's good to go. He gets, he has to forfeit that one, and then this last one goes all the way to the end. I mean, you heard it once in love. You said it yourself, man. It was like, yeah, this looks like three, two. The Kiki's gonna be okay. You know, everyone is glancing. Like, what a match between two competitors that put in the time, that put in the research, and Shizzy gets this one done. That has to be one of the most exciting matches yeah, that was. I've seen in SWC so far uh, from last year and this year. What a bar to be set. And now Shizzy is our first representative into the America's Cup. He'll have his opportunity to represent America at SWC after America's Cup. We'll see what he does. Again, let's take a look at that action one more time. Oh. A five a set uh, match here between these two competitors, Stoic. Yeah, definitely. We were expecting to see... I don't understand these replays again. Two legendary <laughs> players going after it. And round one, True was able to take it. Shizzy started to make his comeback here. Shizzy did very, very well. We saw a lot of meta-relevant uni units coming out here. We saw the Carnival. We saw the Trungpong. We saw Ganymede, who's been in all of SWCs. Ganymede being a key unit, being able to reduce the attack bar of everybody, getting those resets. And even the Glancing coming off that first skill, limiting so much damage. Because even in that final match, Ragnar was not able to finish off of a unit because of that Such Glancing a clutch being on top of him. And just Mo Long doing exactly what he needs to do, and that's eliminating units. Right? Mo Long. Coming through huge here for Shizzy. Once in love. That Holy was shit. Uh, uh, just God a, a, a long, I guys. I can't think of another word other than that between it was. two yeah, absolutely, absolutely uh, uh, worthy opponents here. What were your thoughts on it? There was actually one move very specifically that I think that True Whale lost the match on. Um, when his glanced ragdoll went in to hit the Ganymede, he didn't use skill two. He thought his skill one would do enough damage. Didn't kill the rag or didn't kill the uh, Ganymede with ragdoll. Ganymede ventilated the Molong and the game was over. I uh, given to say, you know, getting the stun with Molong twice like that is on the luckier side, but you know, every tiny like error like that could cost you a whole match. And in this situation, it cost him the first ticket to SWC NA. Yeah, it did. Well, we got our first ticket booked again one more time. Congratulations to Shizzy for getting it done as we take a look at the bracket again. Uh, not the end of the road here for True Whale. A heartbreaker indeed. He'll have an opportunity to go ahead and bounce back in the, uh, 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 the lower bracket next week. But we got one more ticket to punch. I hope it's as exciting as our last match there. You see right here, Zephyrus, faint memory. These two took care of business as well. These two have a little bit of history, both right. qualifying before in the cup and the preliminaries. And now these two can't both make it through. It'll only be one of them. Let's take a look at Zephyrus first and his journey here, Stoic. Well, Zavarius bringing in a lot of key plays, a lot of great units, and a lot of great drafting. Zavarius was showing off basically that experiences that he's had in SWC. He's showing that he's been here before, he's comfortable here, you know, and got the big victory over over Big V. Uh, Zavarius is he's just well experienced, and I think that's what we're seeing here. Is we're seeing someone who's very very comfortable.
Yeah, uh, definitely so here. Thoughts on Zafaris' opportunity and chance here to make it on through once in a while. Our Zafarius fighting fame memory. It's uh, fighting, fighting a big wall, fighting a big wall. You have one of one of the un most unique and brilliant players out there. I think that Zafarius has a pretty good advantage having the Gianna. It's definitely a very good piece in the ban. I think for this match, it really comes down to who gets first pick. I think first pick advantage with the ban will favor that player quite a bit. All right, well, let's take a look at the other player that'll be fighting for first pick advantage. Fame Memory, again, one of the most brilliant minds in the game from the America's Cup. Been here so many different times, almost as qualified as the oh. America's Cup uh, champion or representative. Man, they're really sucking Fame Memory's dick right now, guys. <laughs> they really are. I want him to win. I want Fame Memory to win, but holy fuck, they're sucking his dick so hard, guys. It's uh, like they're stroking it every, every follicle of his nutsack, man. Again, taking care of business there for Faint. So, uh, again, uh, faint memory has the opportunity to continue to add to his legacy here, Stoic. Yep, that's right. I mean, faint memory played a friend, and now he's playing a fellow guildmate as well going into this last match here. Faint memory with just all the comfort in the world with how he drafts and how he handles this game and how he reads into a draft as well. So faint memory, just as various with the experience, but a lot more experience oh. on the side of faint memory. All right, well, Prediction time, y'all. Once in love, who you got? Faint memory moving on. Any advice to ruin Vanessa? Uh, violent will. HP crit damage, HP. Speed crit damage, attack. Speed crit damage, HP. Attack crit damage, HP. Defense crit damage, HP. Defense crit damage, uh, defense. Attack crit damage, attack. There's a lot of ways you can oh. do it. I think Zavarius might take this one. <laughs> oh, all right, there we go. We got the split desk here. Zafarius on one side, Faint Mem on the other. The players are ready to go. We got that ticket hot and ready. Who are we giving it to? Let's find out. Let's hope it lives up to the same hype that that last one nice. did. Uh, for the call, Stoic, once in love, taking us away. We've got that final ticket on the line. That's right, this is our final ticket. It's either going to be Zavarius or Faint Memory. We're getting into a round one with a best of five pre band All right, guys. Let's do this. We have Gianna Kinky as a pre band Faint Memory of the first pick goes with the Okeanos. Zafarius responding with the Carnal and Ch uh, Chong Pong. Faint Memory are going to respond as fast as Zafarius did. Let's see, what do you have? We have a Sierra. Guys, what are we saying? Zephyrus or Faint Memory? Zephyrus or Faint Memory? What are we saying? What are we buying? What are we selling? What are we buying? What are we selling? What are we buying? Guys, what are we buying? What are we selling? All right, Faint Memory with the Hey Gang uh, and, and, and Sierra. That is a Hey Gang has done lots of fucking work this, uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, this tournament, guys. All right, Zafaris, what do we have? What are we buying? What are we selling? What are we picking? Goes with more, and a Gany. Not bad. Looks like a Hey Gang ban so far. All right, Fame Memory with his beautiful Chloe. Is he gonna commit to the Chloe? Ooh, a Kashmir. Oh, I love you, Faint. I fucking love you. You know what? Casters can suck your dick. I will fucking do it too. That is a very beautiful win right you pick. All right. Okay. He had Daphnis last time, and now he has a Kashmir, guys. A win right you. Oh, I like this. I very much like this. So it depends on how fast this Kashmir or win right you is, but it could be a ban on the, uh, on the moor. It could be a ban on the moor and just knock this one out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ban on moor. Knock this one out. I want to see it. You know what? I'm clicking just to see if I can open and see the runes. <laughs> I'm fucking drunk, guys. I am fucking drunk. All right. I thought I could open the wind Ryu. Oh, that is a fast wind Ryu. Very fast wind Ryu. Doesn't go for the... Okay, he's not gonna one-shot the uh, the Chong Pong. Okay, okay, okay. That was a very interesting take, but <laughs> it could be a kill on that Juno. Takeish casting couch people clap. 
Ooh, oh, violent proc. <laughs> All right, he's going to commit to that Juno. That Juno is going to be committed. Okay. How much damage? There you go. There you go, guys. Faint memory with the calculate, uh, Fucking, uh, I don't know. With the math, the fucking attacks. Jesus Christ. That Juno is gone. He's probably going to capitalize the second skill on someone else other than Juno. Because he can kill the Juno with, this, uh, with the Fran. I mean, with the, with the Chloe. All right, there we go. First skill, can you get a proc? Uh, Sierra doesn't get a proc. All right. Ooh, no strips. Absolutely no strips. That is unfortunate for Zephyrus. Also, Kihi, thank you, man. Thank you for the eight months. Thank you for the eight months. Full team stun. Are we going to see a full team stun? We do almost see one. But, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't cap. I wouldn't commit with the third skill. Oh, that is one squishy. Very squishy cashmere. It's not over yet, guys. It's not over yet. This carnal is going to do some beautiful work. Especially. Especially with with the, with the Gany. All right, can he get a full team? I mean, uh, can he get stuns? Gets the stun on Oki. That Kashmir is dead. Oki needs to get a proc, but it's a violent uh, Oki. I mean, it's a swift Oki, so it's not going to happen. Can No proc! Ooh, he needed that proc. Gets another stun. Yes, it looks like it's a loss for Faint mem Memory, a.k.a. Josh. But it did look... F Guys, I gotta say, it, lo it fucking looked fun. Very beautiful with the Kashmir pick, guys. I will always suck a beautiful cojones if someone pick the Kashmir, okay? Shizzy did win, Hekmek. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. I did want to see... But I would like to see Faint Memory play a bit more safe than going with the, with the Kashmir. Even though Kashmir is beautiful by default. Uh, I would like to see him play a bit more safe. Uh, instead of having such a very squishy target. But there was an idea behind it. He wanted to deal a lot of... As much damage as possible on that Juno. So that uh, the Sierra can just commit and kill it. All right, now we have Lulu and Chongpong Ban. Lulu Chongpong Ban. All right, faint memory with the uh, Hey Gang and Sierra, and then we have a Okeanos from Zephyrus. Oh, thank you, Consolita, guys! Don't forget about exclamation skit. Exclamation skit if you want to have a I don't know if you want to have an okay time while they're drafting exclamation skit All right Then we have Zephyrus with a more and Gany pick fate memory responding with a kinky and carnal What is your last pick? All right. Oh, Water Monkey. Hey, Water Monkey. That is something we haven't seen in a long time. Very long time. Zephyrus with the Gianna and Water Monkey last pick. Fate memory with uh, Fran as the last pick as well. All right. Hey, gang gets banned. I don't know. I don't know, but it looks like Zephyrus will have the control. But it's all about the procs and uh, the resistant and accuracy checks here as well for faint memory. Let's just see what's going to happen. Can he do the pushback? Can he strip everything? Is it a, a Nemesis Fran? He's too scared to go against that Fran. It's possibly a Nemesis, double Nemesis Will Fran. That is a good proc, but it's probably going to just use the first skill. All right, is it going to for the reset to on Fran? Doesn't go for the reset on Fran. Resets 
the carnal interesting the fairies is play playing really cautious very very clear-headed play um yeah he's playing really well right now he knows the or whole ordeal with uh with a double nemesis friend very beautiful however he didn't get a single strip didn't get a single strip that mattered but we might see a uh, we might see a ventilate on the on the on the more there we go he's not gonna attack the more that would be um, that would be weird all right can we see a provoke an oki or maybe gani or even the water monkey goes for the water monkey gets the provoke maybe commit to the water monkey doesn't go for the commit he doesn't commit on the water monkey gets stripped oh that is a dead moor all right sierra can you get a proc doesn't get a proc okeanos what do we have what are we selling what are we buying you need your stunts but he's going to use it anyways gets no defense break no defense break all right carnal can you proc doesn't get a proc all right so this is where uh water monkey is going to die has provoke Oh, Gani needs a proc here to win. Doesn't get the proc. Oh, that is a beautiful proc. Is that going to help? No pushback, but has a bomb. Yeah, it looks like a... Um, yep, looks like a good win for Fate Memory. GG, well played. GG, well played. That was... It was a lot of things happening. It was very difficult for me to follow. Why did I delete clips? Guys, I fucking had to delete everything when I got the DMCA shit. Alright, now we have the Gianna and Kinky Ban again. One, one. Right, Oki first pick maybe from uh, Fate Memory? Or what are we seeing? Oki first pick. All right, oh, uh, Fate, are we going to see another Kashmir? I would love to see it. But I'd like to see you be more safe. All right, double speed lead Sierra Moore. Takes the Moore away from Zephyrus. Ooh, double water. Hey gang and Samath, the Ferris want to compete for speed. He wants to compete for speed here. He wants to first turn. Fate memory. What, are we, what is the commitment here? Goes for the Chloe, the beautiful little fucking shit Chloe. I mean, beautiful Chloe. I mean, yes, yes. We love to see this Chloe. Ooh, Gani Chloe as a last pick. The Ferris. What is your response here? What is your response? You need something threatening, extremely threatening, so that there is uh, no reason for Faint to ban the Hay Gang. Ooh, is that. Oh, could that potentially be a Nemesis, a trap Fran? This is going to be very difficult for Faint Memory to ban, because he is dealing with a Hay Gang and a trap Fran, meaning that the Farius has no reason to ban the Moor. There's absolutely no reason to ban them more. There we go. Okay, look at the five head plays. The Zephyrius knows exactly what he's doing. And I like to see that. It's like watching... Um, I don't know what to, what to say. Oh! Gany Swift. Was that a Swift Gany? Resets the Fran. Wait, did he reset the Fran? He didn't reset the Fran. But it's alright. He still has more. But the more has glance. More has glance. But still stripped. S still somehow stripped. An additional proc. Look at that. Look at that additional proc. All right. So, what are we? Uh, what are we doing here? Maybe kill the Fran. Might as well. Yeah. Detonate. Oh, that's a beautiful proc. Actually, a very beautiful proc very beautiful it it is looking pretty bleak for zephyrus however it's looking pretty honestly as i say that 
it is looking pretty oh shit it's actually looking very bleak for faint memory it is looking extremely bleak for faint memory because samath still has his third skill Samath still has his third skill. This is where he has to kill Samath. Or does he? Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No way. Glance. Oh! Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Very nice. There you go. Sierra. Sierra. It wasn't even a glance. What was it? It was a like just a normal attack. What was it? There was yeah, it was just a normal attack from uh, Samath. Ta -da -ta. We have Carnal and Lulu as we ban Faint Zephyrus. What is your first pick? Okia knows. Hey, gang. All right. Hey, gang. Hey, gang. Sierra Zephyrus. What is your what is your second and third skill? I mean, pick the fuck. What's wrong with me? All right, we have a Gianna in the game, Gianna and Chung Pong. I like the way these guys are drafting, guys. I'm not gonna lie, but it's very meta, very meta. But there's always this one key unit that is that is uh, exciting to watch. More and Chloe. Malicious. What do we have? Last two picks. Diana, Diana is not a bad pick here. Really good. It's gonna do a lot of stuff versus the Hey Gang, Moore, and Sierra. Oi, yo, yo, Iliana! Now, what is this? Iliana, why is the chair vibrating so hard? Don't ask. Don't ask any questions, Miss Betty. Those are really good two last picks. I will have to say that. There is no reason for Zephyrus to actually... Oi, oi, oi! Wait a minute! Faint! Come here right my... Come here right now, man! I will fiddle with your nuts right now for that Kashmir pick! Very nice! We love this! Okay! Okay, okay, okay! Okay! I fucking love this! I love the Kashmir picks! That is a very fast Gianna. So it's going to look pretty bleak. Oy, oy, oy. It is looking very bleak. Oh, it doesn't get the stun. I mean, doesn't get the bomb, but it doesn't really matter because. Uh... Oh, that's a really good proc. I am. My. My body doesn't know how to react to this. But that is probably a dead Kashmir. Yep, that is a dead Kashmir, and it's looking pretty bleak for faint memory right now. Extremely bleak for faint memory. Yep. Yep, there is no way. This can't... Yeah, it's not going to be a shizzy uh, situation. There's absolutely no way that is a game-winning uh, thing that just happened. GG well played, Kashmir. That is the... That is the... That is a little shtick with the Kashmir guys, all right? Uh, he has to land his shit, you know? All right, so we have the Carnal. No, we have the Gianna and uh, and Kinky. Pre-bands. memory maybe with the Okeanos first pick is that what we're gonna see that is what we see Zephyrus what is your response is it gonna be the same thing as before 
which I actually have no idea and don't remember what it was, but it was something with Colonel. Sierra? Hey, gang. All right. That is, um, that's peak performance. Right, faint memory with the third and, uh, with the second and third pick. All right, we have Chong Pong. Taking its time. Chong Pong Vanessa. Chongpong Vanessa. Oh, I like where this is going. Faint memory. What is it? What is it that you're going to pick here? I like what is going to happen. I, I want to see some. Uh, is it going to be Daphnis and. Uh, will we see some Daphnis and uh, Kashmir maybe? Daphnis Kashmir? No. That Fran is interesting. Why, Fran? I guess Fran is alright, but the Ferris can just go with an AoE strip. Can he? Gian is banned. So Fran is not a bad pick. Okay, I like I like this guys. So it's gonna be a Hey Gang ban. This is going to be a Hey Gang ban unless the Ferris has has a extremely, extremely toxic last pick here. Depending on Zafari's last pick, that is the Hey Gang gone. And I think Hey Gang is still going to be banned here. Hey Gang is still going to ban be banned here. And we might see uh, either an Oki or Chong Pong ban. We see a Chong Pong ban and a Hey Gang ban. All right. A very low quality Okeanos looks like RuneScape from 2000. That's really nice way to put your money come to us. GG well played. All right, Okeanos. First pick. I mean, first turn doesn't land the reset. Can we see some pushback? Gets the pu pushback and a stun on, on that, uh, on that uh, Juno. All right, so I might see a defense break from Vanessa on that uh, Juno to capitalize on damage, or he might go for Sierra. Or he might go for the Sierra. Goes for Colonel. All right, what do we have here? Land strip on Fran and the car uh, and the Moor. Maybe a bomb on Fran, or maybe a bomb on uh, the Moor. Okay, Fran gets the bomb. Is he, is she gonna detonate? It is a Nemesis Fran, isn't it? Oh. Oh, it looks like Faint Memory has two, not one, but two friends. And that was a uh, unfortunate proc. I No, actually, that would, was bound to happen. That's a very clutch stun. All right, let's see. All right, can we land a defense break on a crucial unit? Gets a defense break on the crucial unit. So, reset on the... G oh, doesn't land the reset! Oh, that is clutch. That is unfortunate. That could be game-changing. But it's not. Because we have more here with the pushback. All he has to do is capitalize some damage on that Sierra. Doesn't get a proc. Sierra, do you have a bomb? Gets a stun on Oki. What is happening right now? That is... A lot of emotions. I don't know how to feel, guys. Alright, he gets a bomb out. That's attack broken bomb. But I think, I think Faint Memory has won, guys. I don't know, but I think Faint Memory has won, and that is... <laughs> GG! Well played, Faint Memory! All right! Well played! Well, well, well. Very well played, man. GG, well played. So we have Shizzy and Faint Memory going forward, guys. There we go. But this time, he had more than enough luck to get on through, wins the best of five here against Zafarius, and books his ticket to America's Cup. Uh, deservedly so. Both best of fives were fantastic. Both players that weren't able to get over the hump put up a hell of a fight. Zafarius, so, so close. But faint memory, you open up the mind and see what it's like, and you're just so confused on, like, where is this? Wind Ryu coming from? What is this doing? Like, I didn't even know this unit existed. Thank you once in love for knowing exactly what it did and teaching oh, us chat. what it did oh, the chat uh, is, uh, right on uh, the calm. spot there. But man, uh, it, it, and I love the fact that Fame Memory pulls it out on game one.
He's like, hey, I know there's five games. Each game matters, but I'm going to do it my I'm way. Gonna refresh. Memory. Uh, you know, getting over the hump here, man. Yeah, definitely. In that first match, we saw Winryu do amazing things, and I was thinking to myself, maybe I have to build this unit. But now I think <laughs> I just want to build the Chloe, and not so much that Winryu yet. But a lot of great performances out of Faint Memory, as it was expected. RNG going back and forth, of course, but we saw Metapics being as relevant as they always have been for the last two seasons here. And just great plays from, honestly, both of them. We had an awesome Game 5 match between Faint Memory and Zavarius, but Faint Memory really proven to yep. be uh, the stronger opponent here. Yeah, once in love. Thoughts on this matchup? The whole set was incredible. It was great to see you know, another uh, five-set game. But on top of that, the drafts still varied between every single game. We saw the Ileana, we saw the Kashmir, we saw or the Winryu. We also saw a Vanessa at the end. We saw a Juno. We saw a lot of things we haven't seen throughout the entire tournament. So uh, to me, that's incredible. I love the variety and diversity in the draft. Right, and even in that last game, you got to see both Ryu's, but one of them was Ryu, Win Ryu, Kashmir, one of them was more. And it was like, oh, this is, this is interesting. Uh, you know, flexing exactly the type of unit that he had both times. So faint memory, finally able to get over the hump. Uh, what a day it's been, y'all. What an absolute banger of a day, both in the first matches and the qualifier matches. Let's take a look at the bracket one more time. Uh, the players booking their ticket to America's Cup. They can sit back, they can relax, they can practice, they can hide their drafts, and they can watch everyone else sweat it on out next Saturday. It's Shizzy and Faint Memory booking their tickets as two of the eight participants in America's Cup. Now, the players that dropped earlier in the day, looking at Daniel Carioca, Dustin, Big V, JS, and then, of course, True Whale and Zafarius, their journey is not over yet. They still can find their way to the America's Cup and ultimately to SWC 2021 through the bottom side of the bracket, which will happen next week. But you know what? Saturday is only one day of the weekend, which means we got more action for you tomorrow, and this is the big side of the bracket. Let me tell y'all, this Bracket is full of bangers, full oy of oy matches oy! with anticipation, full of matches with experience and potential. Stoic is salivating right now. I'll get his opinion in a second after I run down it. Uh, right off the top, you've got the former America's Cup champion, Dreams Joseph, representing Peru up against Michael Yan. Then you got Topa V. He was there last year against a Madream D. Then you got Tiger against last year's America's Cup champion, J Mac. And then Thompson, you might have heard of him before, also an America's Cup previous champion up against Ferris Ferris, which is one of Once in Love's favorite guys. So oh. uh, now, guys, I turn Piras, to you. Piras. Uh, Stoic, which one of these matchups are you most excited about? Really putting me on the spot here. There's just so many matches in here that are, <laughs> uh, like you said, absolute bangers. It's just nothing but champions across this board. We've got newcomers like Faras. We've got newcomers uh, like Madreemd. And I don't know too much about Madreemd, but what I can tell you about Faras is he's a very intelligent Rass. player, known for great artifacts and great room, room quality as well. I think the only thing that Faras has to worry about is unit depth, because we've got a lot of people in here that don't worry about that. And that's why a lot of these people here are champions. Oh. So it's going to be a very exciting day tomorrow. I look forward to every every one of these matches to be honest with you i really couldn't pick one once in love how about you brother i know we talked about the Fedoss match obviously he's one of my best friends but the match that i'm actually most interested in is tiger versus jmac both canadians as well as tiger was the champion of the america's cup oh. new york back in 2017. so you know this really is the bracket of champions champions all across oh. the board yeah, it's going to be a hell of a day tomorrow, especially given the fact that today's matches were so damn good. I had so much fun watching yeah, this one. Good. We hope you all at home did <clears throat> for the first day of the preliminaries. We got day number two. Two more tickets will be punched to the America's Cup. And then, of course, next Saturday, Next Saturday will be the final chance. Four more players will be punching their ticket to the America's Cup to give us a total of eight participants trying to represent America in the uh, SWC 2021 the come, Championship. Guys. All right, y'all. It's been a long day, multiple streams. We appreciate all of you. And so to show that, we got yourself a little coupon right here. Oh, there you Bam. go, guys. Let's run it. It's right there. Cow. All right, mods, put it in the chat because we know y'all been... Uh, you know, a little busy again there. Let's tomorrow. see. It. See you again, TMW. See you again tomorrow. So see you, just the letter U, 
Again, that's spelled normally, T-M-W. Get yourself two mystical scrolls. And like me, you can pull Masha. I pulled Masha yesterday. So uh, you guys oh, can pull Oh, he plays the Masha. game. Uh, it, it, it's doable.